Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and tonight we're going to be playing a whole bunch of Atari 8-bit <laughs> games, specifically for the t from the 10-liner awesome. contest that just finished up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Atari 8-bit. Let's put this over here in the appropriate place. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Cats, cats, cats! Yay, kitties! Um, we're going to be playing 11 of them. Um, every single game that was submitted to the 10 liner nice. contest nice. And, and we'll go into more detail the 10 liner contest but this is games that were made in 10 lines of basic uh -huh. only 10 lines so you have to make a whole game and pack it into 10 lines some of those lines are long but they are still 10 lines <laughs> so um but first oh actually the names of the games we're going to be playing uh, Acme, yeah, these go to 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 11 games in 10 lines. That's right. Uh, Acme Inc., Bonkum, Chase Me, Dunes, Endless Road Runner, Flying Balls, Fly Hunter 10 Line, Gunner, Jax, or Better Video Poker, nice. Magic Carpet Ride, and Tetris. Ooh. We're going to be playing them in alphabetical order. Okay, fair you enough. Know, you why know, not? It's better than yep. any other order. Yep. Yeah, why not? Um, a lot of people uh, submitted more than one game. Yeah. So uh, I'll read out the names of the people. Oh, okay. Tari's excited. He's tearing up furniture. Hooray. <laughs> um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show uh, over there. Uh, 8 bit poet, Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari Dunner, Dex, All Rules, Atari 74, Atari H Bear, Atari's Maximus, BR Poka, Bruno Staggs, Charles Spine and Charles, Charles Donny Mal, Charles Willen, Chitlilla, Sierra Naribo, Dan VC, Daryl Line to 70, Dark Moo, Kales, Emmy Dan, Gamma Def, Gangs Off, Great Offender, John, Garn Trooper, Johnny WC Kaboo, Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600, Kvelt for Land of Express, Mandy Sipping Tea, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mel Atari 969, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike The Thomas Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Mini Nostalgic, uh, Pseudo Graphics, Cog 2600, R. Anschwitz, R. Ghost for a Penless VD, Robert Tooley, Ricardo Pimra, Castle Smitty B, Spice for Spinley, S. Ramirez, D. Train, Tiki Dan K, T. Foes, Trek MD, Vexrex, Vintage Game Memories, VR Gamer for Life, and VVG Double Down. Thank you to Very all nice. those wonderful people. Um, you can subscribe as well. Get your name on the list. Mm -hmm. Get it read out. Get it on the screen. The <laughs> Good cats. eye, Vitoko. Bernie is currently down the side of the couch. Oh, um, Atari tacked him yeah. on a non-show day. Yeah. <laughs> if I can fish him out. He was very mad at Bernie. Yeah. Kept, we kept putting him back up and he kept pulling him back down. There Bernie. you go. There Bernie's you go. back. Bernie's back. It's like a <laughs> Micro Machines commercial. It yes. It micro Machines, Micro Machines, Micro Machines. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. I do have a poll question. Um, I uh, Did I set it up? I don't think I did. But I will type it in right now. Uh, do you pronounce words in their original language or oh my. in their own language? <clears throat> Or your own language. That wouldn't make sense the other way. Um, I've got some examples. <laughs> um, Tanny's laughing because I make fun of one of them all the time. Uh, well, it's sort of the same thing twice. Uh, the same thing? Well, yeah. yes, it is. But it I, is. I wanted to provide. But the middle one. Yeah, Bernie will need a display case. To <laughs> Any soft toys really do, actually. So they get they get dragged so around. Let's start the poll up. Okay, there's a poll. Uh, do you pronounce words in their original language or in your own language? Uh, Gamma Dev's way ahead of me. <laughs> who would, who, most people would say three because I think some sometimes think you learn the word. Might. Yeah. In a kind of converted version, right? It's it's, it's not. You your learn it from their community, your family, your friends, who's around you, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the one I was going to give an example of is the ZX Spectrum. Mm. And I have heard people pronounce it ZX Spectrum, which but is But not that very, often. Not that, that one's often. very low because it never came to North America. No. So nobody would have pronounced it yeah. in North America. And the only place they would hear it is from... You know, Europe, UK specifically, yeah. um, it's pronounced ZX Spectrum, yeah. just like Zero Page Homebrew is mm. abbreviated to ZPH because we're not American. We call it ZPH. Yes, I have heard people say ZPH. Which is totally fine, it's just as long as you're saying that. it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if it's you're like, saying ZPH, ZPH, as long as you're saying it, it's it, all that it It's also kind of veers into uh, GIF and JIF. Well, I was going to say it's the GIF and JIF thing all over because, again. Because the person who created that 
acronym. Yeah. Uh, pronounces it GIF, as in giraffe. Yeah. Well, it's graphical, right? Graphical. But it does stand for graphical. Yeah, but so it, it is, is G. It's it G is in giraffe, because <laughs> that's how the person who created the acronym mm -mm. pronounces it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, v oh, yes, VHZC. VHZC. Interesting. VHZC. Yeah, so I say ZC. Goes, I, well, I mean, well, we're Canadian, so we always say Z. Yeah, yeah, but if if he said no, it's VHZC. <laughs> then it was like okay. Would, it's would, VHZC. would it not? Would you not stumble over it when you when you at first, would read it? I think at it would be, first it would be I tough would for the first little while. But I would try to learn it because yeah. that's that's. Do you I, mean? I would say it's insulting if you mispronounce somebody else's name. Incorrect. Names names are, are I think always an exception, right? Because mm. you you your name is pronounced a certain way. Ad, ad, Adidas. Adidas. Ad, Adidas. Instead of Adidas. Yeah. Yes. Porsche. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of like um, company words. names that are mispronounced. The one that gets me, and we used to watch. Um, Good call, Carl. It is ZZ Top. It not is ZZ Top it because is ZZ they're top. from the U.S. Yeah, we would not say ZZ Top. It's ZZ, that just sounds <laughs> I have so heard, wrong. I've heard that joke before. Though. I have heard that joke, yes. But no, ZZ Top. Yeah. Um, Jif is like peanut butter, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Jif just, Jif. it doesn't sound right to me. G giraffe. G it, some people go, you don't pronounce it because you don't pronounce the G like that. No, giraffe. You do pronounce G in both ways in many But in words. English, I think if you have, if you have a G followed by an I, it should be a hard G. You would you would use the J. Like, I think there's pronunciation rules, and I think that's why most GIF. people say GIF. But anyway, maybe uh, I'm wrong uh, about that. I don't know. Uh, we used to watch a lot of I, home uh, sales show or home makeover uh, shows. The foyer, yeah, yeah. Foyer. <laughs> and foyer. Americans, I would say, on, that sh on those shows... It would be 75% mispronunciation you, of that French word. Yeah, yeah. They would say foyer. For, no, foyer, foyer, foyer. Foyer. I foyer. can't even pronounce it wrong. Yeah. Foyer. <laughs> foyer. Oh, my God. It made my head hurt so, <laughs> so much every time I heard it. Foyer. Oh. Uh, Xavier. Uh, two different ways, depending if it's a French guy in my office. Yeah. Or the leader of Zavia. the X Men. Hmm. Yeah. Hard G goes back to our Germanic roots. Soft G is like a, a J, J is a French, French thing, thing. Yeah, that in which would we make go sense. Most of our vocabulary. That would make sense. Uh, mm. And pseudographics pronounce it with a hard G. GIF, GIF, not GIF. GIF, GIF. yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna vote three um, because it really <sighs> does depend on the word. Because yeah. there's the other flip side of this. Whereas if you do pronounce it like the person pronounces it in the country that it came from, you sound a bit strange. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's like, true. what are you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> are you trying to be French? Yeah. Are you trying to be German? <laughs> it's almost like common pronunciation is the pronunciation, like yeah. wherever you happen to be. I can't think of an example right now. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah. Can you think of one <laughs> where it's a word that we don't pronounce correctly... Um, on purpose because it would be, I don't well, know. Well, I, I, you talk about, you talk about brand names. Right. Like some of those brand names we are mispronouncing for sure. Um, but it's just the common. Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's the correct name or not. I don't know not, either. But, British um, people pronounce it Adidas. Um, but there's Europeans. definitely a lot of brand names that are very different and probably we're pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Chamois. Chamois, <laughs> just not it's correct, a chamois. right? Chamois. Well, it's a cha chamois. And not chamois. It's a chamois. <laughs> How do you pronounce it in French? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what it looks is. like a French word. Chamois, I would say. Boston Celtics. Oh, Ooh, Boston that's a Celt yeah. that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Celtics, Celtics. As a ways localizer, I have to deal with that kind of problem specifically in street names. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of names in Vancouver that I think have been corrected since. Uh, there was um, one. We have a Smythe Street, and it always used to say Smith. Smith. And it, and it was so irritating for some reason. It's got a it's Y like, in it, not an I. No, no, it's got an E at the end. Yo, Smithy. <laughs> and 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 it's like. <laughs> no, would you say it's, it's Smithy? not Smith? Yeah. It's definitely not Smith. But... Smythe. And there was something else. Yeah, there are a couple of yeah. streets that were just completely mispronounced. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> it's it's interesting. It's interesting. It's AI or. 
the oh. computer or whatever you want to call it. Nobody pronounces it in their own language exclusively. So it's either yeah. always original language or depends on the I, word. I would say most people, yeah. I mean, people, yeah. you try to be correct as much as you can. Yeah, you and do. And I think with person, like the name of a person, you really want to be correct. But like when it comes to brands, when it comes to Adidas objects, is from Adolf Dassler. Adidas. Uh, 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 that makes sense. A, then it would be Adidas. Not A. Adolf. A. Adidas? Adidas. 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 Adolf? Hmm. A, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting, though. I didn't know that. Yeah. Learned something new every day. Um, so, uh, update of my game. Uh, I did some updates <laughs> since last show. Oh, wow, interesting. I, I never no knew that. idea. That is not something that people know about, or I, I swear no. that would be discussed more openly. Um, um, <laughs> so I was able to implement play field modification. Oh. Um, so uh, you, the you... game interacts with hmm. the play field. Nice. And so I have to alter the play field based on that, hmm. based on the gameplay. And I did do that, implemented it. Yeah, well, that was very hard. That was probably the hardest thing yeah. because there is many like translation tables and math to figure out like location versus the play field mm. because the play field is four pixels wide. It's one, but it's four, four player pixels wide and you're one player pixel at a time, mm. the movement. So it was, it was a lot. That it took was a lot. lot. Yeah. Um, I did some other collisions. I have to be very vague about that mm -hmm. um uh i implemented a game over condition mm -hmm. you can you can die in the game now hooray mm -hmm. and it restarts uh it restarts immediately so i have to put a little I have like to, a pause or something in i have there. to make it so the button starts the game yeah that, yeah that's yeah. that's actually yeah that's yeah. what you need um and Couch i implemented uh enemy collision mm. so you can actually die which goes along with the game over mm. as well um, so I'm very happy with yeah. the progress and I've actually set a date to show off the game, Yay! which is not this Friday, but next Friday. Ooh, you're really giving yourself a tight timeline there. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hawaii. Hawaii. That's another one. Oh. It's pronounced Hawaii. Is it? Uh, localized. Yes. Hawaii. Cause that's the original pronunciation. Yeah. Of Listening the to the Garmin try to pronounce some of the street names with 25 syllables was a laugh, right? <laughs> oh, I can't. If, if there's anyone who lives in, um, I'd be very curious if you live in a place where maybe common language is English, but then like the, the, oh, a lot the, of local things are not, are English. not like, uh, Wales, <clears throat> for example, the number of consonants in Welsh. I mean, obviously it's oh, pronounced Welsh. completely oh, differently, yeah. but I would love to hear like a computer, like, like force its way through some of those really long place names. She kind of sound like gibberish. Yeah, uh -huh. it would to me anyway, because I don't know Welsh, but... Uh, Carl G yeah. says, for once you can feel the fear of having your game ready for show on time. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm yep. feeling it already. I yeah. was like, uh, but I said I'd have it out before the end of the month, well, or I ready to show. Pretty close, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I mean, I could show it now. People, yeah. Nobody would be impressed, Yeah. but I could show it now. Uh, um, so I things I have to do before the show uh, next Friday, not this one. Tanya's going to break your game <laughs> so will. fast. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> um, enhanced enemy collision. There's a couple things I need to do there. I need to clean up the kernel. I mean, I don't have to because nobody will see it, really. They won't see the code uh, right away. Um, so I can put that off. I could mm -hmm. put a star beside it. I need to put animation in it. Right now, things are just like... It's like a, a human just floating okay. without walking Locking. their legs, yeah, yeah, yeah. moving yeah. their legs. Yeah, There's a uh, little tiny weird. bit of animation in it. Tiny. No, no, zero. Yeah, oh, pff, technically, yeah. yes. No. But that's built in. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah, don't, don't give it away. Don't give it away. <laughs> yeah, I won't give anything away. <laughs> uh, basic level advancement. Okay. So things progress. How it things progresses. Things get harder yeah, in the game. Yeah, yeah, Because then, because if I don't do that, it'll just be easy. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, scoring. I've implemented some scoring behind the scenes. It's not shown yet. Okay. So that's kind of started. And I think I want some sound in there. Even some just basic standing like sounds. Like noises. Like yeah. noises. Just yeah. to symbolize something happening. Cats. These cats. They calm are down. ready. 
for some um, updates. And today we uh, have a enhanced version of Treat Ball oh, that we're going yeah. to try out. I heard that went well. Um, so we can do that before we start the game, okay. or a little ball? bit into the game. Okay. Depends on you guys. The games are short, so you can pretty much trigger at any time. Mm. You don't have to worry about that. Yep, fair yeah, fair enough. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for uh, us playing uh, my game on the show Warning. on the twenty eighth. <gasps> the treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose, kittens. Nice. Oh, who triggered that? It was nostalgic. We're going to need a bigger box. Cat sounds. Meow, meow. So what we have done is we now have two treat Ooh. balls. Are we using one or two boxes? We're using two boxes. Okay. Put them side by side in like the front. Like this way? Um, sure. That'll keep them further apart. Yes, that might be better. So that might be better. Um, oh, still, yeah. You we're still experimenting with this, so okay. there won't be betting yet, because we don't know how the betting will go. Yeah. So we're going to put uh, 10 treats in in each of these. Oh, no, this way, this way. Sorry. No, I'm just making sure it's on camera. Yep. 10 treats in each of these balls. And we're going to space them out evenly. Yes, it's happening. Calm down. If you can grab the treats, please. Oh, goodness. We're going to need more treats. Do we have oh more boy. upstairs? Oh, yeah, we do have some upstairs. Oh, he's just teasing. Nobody has two treat balls. We do. Just came in today. Okay, we're loading up kittens. Ten in each. What happens if the ball goes <laughs> in the other box? These box walls are very, very high. The chance of that is low. Oh, Tari's primed. He's in his box. Oh, he's out of box. Ah, ah, no, ah. no. Can't have that. I need four more. Hold on. Um, so we're going to play to 10. Each cat gets their own ball. Okay. If you could secure the tops. I will secure the tops. The treat balls are loaded. Okay, so that's one. And do they have to be fully open? No, I've already... Did you move it? No, they're fully okay. open. Okay, they're not fully open. They're almost full. Well, they're almost fully open. Okay. So get in your boxes. Come on. Into the box. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we're going to switch over to <laughs> the treat time. We're going to reset the points. Are we going to... we're going to keep track. We're going to keep track. Oh my <laughs> gosh, box. that is going to be hard. You okay. just tell me. Oh, one's already out. Oh no! One for, one for uh, Atari. Okay, we have to give one to Sprite. Sprite! You stay there. This is becoming a problem. Oh my god. Oh no! Okay. Okay, ready? Ready, go! go. One point each. You have to tell me. Tari got one. I, I don't know. It's really hard to say. You got Sprite one. Sprite got one. I can't watch and do the... Sprite? Okay. Hey, play with your own ball. <laughs> Sprite, get okay. your head in the game. Atari? No, no, Sprite. Sprite, look. Here. That's yours. Okay, Sprite. Sprite got one. <laughs> oh, Atari got two. Okay. All right, I think. Or got one of Sprites. <laughs> this this is not going to work. Sprite got one. Did you just get another one? No, he. those were the two okay. he got. I missed the cat. No, there's no, no there's cat no betting. There's no cat betting yet. Here. This is still an experiment. I, I'm not sure how successful this experiment is. <laughs> I like it better Sprite when they're fighting one. for one. Oh, Atari got one. Atari got two. Atari got two? Is he eating two? He's only eating one. Okay. Well, when he eats them. When oh, he eats them. That's way more to, to, to try. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll add it. Because he's not even oh. eating. Yep. Atari. That's another one for Atari. Okay. And I think Sprite got one. <laughs> Don't know. Oh, Sprite got another one. This is chaos. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is an exhibition cat sport. Yes, it is. We're not sure if this is going to go into the uh, Cat Olympics. I'm not sure that, yeah, the Winter Olympics is going to include We may this. have to go down to one ball again. Okay, Atari and Sprite. Okay, Atari's at nine. Is there one left? Yeah, one left and it's empty. Oh, what? Okay, something went wrong there. I swear Atari got one of Sprite's. 
Oh, and now Atari got his last one. <laughs> now, did Sprite sneak some, or was there a miscount? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Um, Sprite no. has picked no. up the ball in his mouth. He's put his teeth through the holes yeah. and trotted away with them. <laughs> it's too hard to keep track. It I is. think it's better with one. One ball and yeah. a bigger box, yeah. possibly. Needs more tuning. It does. Yeah. yeah. See, wah, he did wah, it. Wah. He did it. He just picked it up. Oh, yeah. He moved he it picks, out of the box. He picks stuff up all the time and carries it around the house. So. <laughs> okay. Um, that's too hard to keep track of. Okay. So that's get no good. There. Get, get. So we're going to... And those boxes aren't big enough for two cats, I don't think. Yeah. So I think we'll have to retune it a little bit more. <laughs> I need to add an RFID to each treat. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> We've got dee -dee 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 -dee, 10 in Atari's stomach <laughs> um, dee -dee -dee -dee, and 9 in Sprite's stomach. <laughs> Sprite's going to take Aww. his ball and go home. That's right. Mm. Still, We're still playing around with it. Um, next experiment gonna, is going to be one ball oh, you can and see. one big box. Can you, can you put it on? Okay. Yeah. Sprite does this thing, which I think is hilarious. He doesn't bat it. He pushes it with its nose. Yep. <laughs> he'll push it. He'll push it around the room with his nose. Yeah. And he's got very good ball handling skills. Very good. Yeah. Whereas Atari smacks it with his paw. They take very different approaches. Oh, he smacked it. With he his did paw. smack that. I'm not but saying he. A lot of the time, does. he nudges it with his nose. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> right now, they're just playing. Yeah, playing they can soccer. play. They can play. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> so let's go back to this. Oh, we did see a movie, and we'll talk mm -hmm. about that during one of the games mm -hmm. on a uh, special screen, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. Okay, let's uh, start up the games. The first, oh, actually, what we're going to do is take a look. Does it, does it involve sandworms? It might involve mm -hmm. sandworms. <laughs> But there's so many movies that have sandworms oh, yeah. in them. It could be any movie. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Which reminds me, I saw a really good TikTok that that's in oh, reference to did that. You? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, ten liner. <laughs> yep. Game... Tremors. Yeah. Tremors. That's <laughs> right. The new Tremors. Yep. Ten liners. Ten liners. Basic ten liner contest. Um, the rules are as follows in German uh, and English ah. all 8-bit computer systems are eligible for this um, and all line oriented basic dialects are allowed with a restriction in the category PUR80 um, so there's four categories one is PUR80 so you can have 80 characters maximum per line and there's 10 lines there's 10 lines for all of these um, in this category, only factory built-in basic variants are allowed. So if you, if there's other basic versions, you can't use that. You have you to have use the to one use the factory built basic. in factory. Even so if you've changed only, your, your um, basic ROM. Only the commands allow for that yes. original system. Yes. Oh, thank you, oh. Crypto Coffee. Oh, oh I thank love. You. Oh, thank 10 you. Shamrocks. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, That's uh, awesome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, next category is PUR120, uh, 120 characters allowed. Um, abbreviations are allowed in all of these because in basic you can do sometimes P and then R or shortened version so you can um, in, uh, get more in your lines. Uh, and in that category, uh, any basic variant is this allowed. Is okay. yeah. uh, next one is Extreme 256, 256 characters. Um, and variants of different basics are allowed. Maybe the Commander 16 would be a good system to use for this. Oh, yes. I, d I haven't seen one entered in. Um, but, uh, yeah, it mm. should be allowed. It's, uh, it's an 8... I think, let me just see. All 8-bit computer systems, so it should be. Mm. Yeah. And then the last one, um, I'm not sure what that translates to, because it didn't. Shao. Code a program in 10 lines, max 256 characters, abbreviation is allowed, but this one's kind of an open category uh, where it can be a demo, tool, or application. So this isn't really, this isn't for games, this is for programs. Mm -hmm. We'll only be playing the games today because that's usually what we play. Sometimes we do, you know, utilities and stuff, but not usually. 
Um, there's a bunch of other rules. Uh, you can't load from uh, parts of it from mass storage devices. It has to be within those 10 lines. Within the 10 lines. That makes sense. Uh, must, must, must not contain machine programs. So it has to be basic commands. Mm. You can't use machine language or any assembly or, or it wouldn't be assembly, but a machine language. And because a lot of Commodore 64 type in programs for magazines would have a joystick handling routine because joystick handling would be very slow. Oh, I see. And if basic you had to, on C64. On basic. Gotcha. So that would, I would always see um, joystick uh, commands. It would just be really, mm -hmm. really fast. Mm -hmm. No machine language to answer my question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I wonder if I, many Atari 8 bit programs use AUSR with a string of Itasca characters to invoke assemblies. Yeah. ML is prohibited. And no USR function. Mm -hmm. uh, programs may be compiled. You can submit basic. And I, we will be running some basic programs as well. All codes must be visible in the listing. No self-modifying code or hidden initializations are allowed. Pokes are allowed. So you can do that. Poke. Yep. Um, and the deadline was this past... Uh, March 16th. I thought Saturday. It was, I thought it was Sunday. But anyway, it was Saturday. Um, and the award ceremony on our... On is on April 6th. Very cool. So pretty soon, in about uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Um, there's also a public choice and jury voting. Nice. Yeah, so it's a fun, it's a fun uh, competition, very, I think. Very it's cool. very specific, very narrow focused and- Well, they, um, they should be, I like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a challenge. And a lot of people in like the 2600 realm like to program in 4K mm. or 2K. And mm. this is kind of the same but it's in 10 lines of basic. Nice. Um, so there was a lot of games submitted um, at, on the following platforms. Atari 800 XL, Videotron TVC. Mm. Never heard of that one. <laughs> um, Commodore Plus 4, uh, Commodore 64, yep. VIC-20, Commodore 64. Yep. Uh, ZX Spectrum, Mattel Aquarius, TRS-80 Model Aquarius. 100. Uh, TRS-80 MC-10, MSX, TRS-80 Color Computer 1 and 2, Amstrad CPC-664, Enterprise 64-128, Olivetti Prodest PC-128, that's another one new one to me, and a Sinclair ZX-81. <laughs> um, it's been running since 2015, wow, so okay. uh, next year is its 10th, well, 11th uh, year, gotcha. but 10th anniversary mm. is next year. Um, and they, all the games are posted to download and play, and hence why we're playing them. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I think that's it. I think we can go for it. So the first game we're going to be playing is called Acme Inc. Okay. Uh, by Marco Spedaletti, uh, also known as Spotless Mind 1975. Mm. This one is in the Extreme 256, so he's using up as much... All the space he possibly space. is allowed to make. So you've got the joystick. Great. Yeah. Are you still... What is he, up with He you? put it under the couch. Oh, he lost the lid. Oh, there's... Hidden. The there's the lid. He's like, can I get some more? Is there any this. hidden in there? No, there's no more. They're both empty now. Where did you put these? Hmm. Um, just tied in there. Okay, so if you can okay. load up the first one, Acme Inc. Under the dates. Yes, there are some games developed using multi-platform basic. Oh, I have notes. Okay. On which to load up. A, B, one C, or D. A, B, C, or D. Because there's different versions and gotcha. some are blah, blah, blah. Um, second one down. B? Yes. Ugg basic. And I'm Ugg. And he's allowed to use the non-built-in. I think I just run this one. There we Excellent. go. Excellent. Uh, the aim of the game is to make the coyote run for as long as possible, uh -huh. avoiding the barrels that roll towards him. The more barrels you avoid, the higher the score. Yes. It is a self-competing -com game and is de designed for one player. And this one was multi-platform. It was for the Atari 8-bit, TR-80 Color Computer 1-2, and Ol Olivetti Protest PC-128. All right. So uh, I think you press to the right to run, and then you go up and down. You can stop running, but you can't move when you stop running. So that's probably like 
just like to help you start off as you don't well so you can kind of stop but things still come towards you yeah so stopping isn't you can slow down a bit and speed up there are multiple speeds in this oh for sure i'm at a moderate speed right now so what's a multi-platform basic um i remember back when i would get books out of the library Mm -hmm. and you could they would have type type in programs and they would have a listing for apple c64 and atari Mm. and usually the c64 would get left behind because it had no graphical commands which was very annoying did its graphics very differently um but they strived to make all the commands equal across all the platforms so they would have print blah and oh 69 there you go great score Mm. There's a lot, enough in common. They have books that were more or less universal. Yeah. Some of them, they would have slight variations. It's like, oh, that command doesn't work quite the same. So here's what you put instead kind yeah. of thing. But a yeah, lot of them were like 99% exactly the same. Yeah. So I found that you could just pretty much stay in one spot and um, use small movements. And always be in the middle, because if you're in the bottom, you can only move up. But if you're in the middle, you can move up or down. Sometimes there's... Is it only one barrel per... One barrel at a time? Oh, no. No, that was two on the screen at the same time. Yeah, there's multi, multiple barrels. So you do have to kind of watch out if two barrels come at you mm-hmm. at the same time. One in the middle and one in the top, you would move down. I have to say, I really like the sprite and the animation of the running feet. The graphics are very good. Very good. This one. Very simple, very good. Yeah. Colors. I might have gone for a brown on the coyote and also brown on the barrels. You rather think? than a pink. What, rather than the pink? Well, yeah, there's a kind contrast, of a ready brown, which yeah, is good. There is. That's a good color. I mean, the pink does really stand out. It does. So this is more of when should I stop playing? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, doesn't get harder, hmm. as far as I can tell. Oh, maybe. No, no. I thought there was well, like more barrels. you have to go faster, barrels. but you, do, you I can't. I'm, uh, maxed. Yeah. I'm maxed out at speed. Are you? There, there we go. go. I caught my foot. Nice. 108. Very nice. Oh, it, it. yes, I was thinking that. It may have been designed for the NTSC palette. That's true. Mm-hmm. And they didn't translate it for um, PAL. Mm-hmm. Um, you do one more, okay. and we'll move on. See if you can beat your last score. Or mine. So there's um, certain challenges that come with 10 lines of coding. One is... Um, oh, oh do, do it again. <laughs> one is... You have 10 lines, so you only have 10 different things you can jump to. Um, so if you um, have 10 different like subroutines, or you'd have nine, um, that would be the maximum you could have because you couldn't jump in the middle to a middle of a line. You have to jump to the beginning of the line. Mm. Um, so that also presents an issue that you have to make sure that you pack the lines as full as possible. Obviously, there are going to be loops and jumps or go tos. Um, oh, oh my oh. god, cheater! Can you stay at the bottom and not die? Well, so far, mm. I, I wanted to see how long I what could stay at the bottom. That? It didn't even. Oh, that, uh, co- that connection. A barrel. I was there for a very long time before one came up. I was yeah. like, hmm, maybe I found a cheat here. Well, you did. I don't know what happened there. You kind of went through a barrel. I went, I did go through a barrel. Hmm. Maybe the feet don't count because if you look, if you saw that last one where you went up, not that one, the one before, it kind of cut off half the barrel. The, the top half of the barrel flickered away. So there might be a slight bug with that. Got to beat your old score. <laughs> you can do it. I just want to see Cheaters that never prosper, Text Rich says. That's true. Unless it lets you. And if it lets you, is it really cheating? 
<laughs> We've had that debate before. I think Darcy was on the show. And I think the consensus was, if the game lets you, it's not cheating. Because... <laughs> oh, I just oh, ran what into it. What did oh. I do? I, I kind of panicked. You're done. You've had enough chances. Oh, oh dead on number worse. two. You're getting worse. It looked like the same pattern. Uh, that's possible if they didn't put a randomization and started the pattern when you press the button. Yeah, there was a big long stretch where uh, I didn't hit a, anything. So rather it, than twice. a rolling, yep. um, randomization thing. Yep. Anyway. Uh, next one is called Bonkum. Uh, this one you have to use the keyboard for. Do I go back? Uh, left and the button. There you go. Um, and select the bottom the one, but mm -hmm. uh, no, don't do it yet. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Uh, okay, now press it. Now I had a lot of trouble with this game getting it to run, but I did find that typing run over and over again is gonna be this. Oh, oh, oh it is running, okay. Now, what I found is it crashes out sometimes. Maybe it'll just work for the show. That'd be good. How to play. Press return to begin. It's not joystick. When the mole pops up, hit the cork. Couch compliant. Definitely <laughs> Correct. not couch compliant. Correct. Thank you, Nostalgic. Thank you. Uh, hit the corresponding key on your keyboard to bonk them. The speed will gradually increase. After you miss five moles, the game is over. Okay. See? Crashes. And it takes a long time to start up for some reason. Mm. Really long time before it displays the, the screen, which is super strange. It must be doing a bunch of initializations. <laughs> see, there you go. Okay. So what do I do? Oh, oh, I see. So you have to press the corresponding key on the keyboard to bonk the whatever. Ah, crashes. Crashed out. DVG says with an XEGS and a 15 pin extension cable, it can be couch compliant. <laughs> That's true. Anything can be couch compliant. If your cords are long enough. Yeah, I don't know why this game crashes constantly. Yeah, whack a spade. But yeah. apparently there's an error uh, 9 at line 7. Uh, that needs to be looked into. <laughs> <laughs> I did play it for a while once. Yeah, you got, got into it. No, it's not happy. Sometimes it crashes when you start it. Sometimes it crashes after the title screen. Sometimes oh. it crashes while you play it. But we at least got an idea. Oh, my God. An idea of what it looks like. Of what it is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whack a spade. Yeah. yeah. Got some... What, what the, what's that character? Has he got a stick? Has he got a torch? What is that? I cannot tell from this distance. Oh, 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 well, look at this. It's error 9 now. is a value error, says Vitoka. Oh, okay. Well, fix those values. <laughs> fix those values. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I guess I failed. We get. We got to see PAL versus NTSC. Possibly. I, I assume everything's PAL on the Atari 8-bit. Mm -hmm. The next one is Chase Me by... <gasps> Fitoko! Fitoko! This is in the Extreme 256 uh, category. Extreme? Yep. You just run it. And... Uh, boot error. Oh. Why? Why boot error? Why? Try that again. Let's reboot the whole thing. <laughs> I think the bonkum infected me. Yeah, thing. there you go. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Uh, you are the green guy. Use the joystick to move around. There are lots of coins you have to collect, but one or more guardians are there to chase and catch you. Mm. There are three guardians taking care of the coins, each with his own personality. Blue, he's always following you, but you could guide him to paths that send him far away. Pink, he moves through the whole maze, taking unexpected paths that can interfere with your plans. Mm. Orange, beware, he's as fast as you. They always move forward, except on paths with a dead end. When you collect all the coins, you gain access to the next maze. There are 60 levels with different maze and guardian variations. All right. 60 levels in 10 lines of code. I, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
and and he's got graphics. Blue. Um, blue is he always follows you, but you could guide him to paths that send him far away. Hooray! I, I appreciate a 10 liner even doing a title fast. screen. Yeah, that's. Holy crap, this guy's fast. Very fast. It's the pink guy. He moves through the whole maze, taking unexpected paths that could interfere with your plan. So he doesn't necessarily chase you, but he's fast, so he could be very he doesn't deadly. doesn't turn around, at least. He goes in one. Sound on the. Oh, Bonkum infected me again. So let me fix that. Ah! <laughs> nope. Let me know if it's good now. Oh, I died and moved to the next level. Yes, okay. when you die, you move to the next level. Ah! You lose a life and proceed to the next maze if there are lives left. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, you recover life when you clean a maze. Uh, try to keep them all, f uh, all to face those impossible mazes no. to do your best. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, that was risky. Okay, it's clear. Get in there. No, no, no! Oh, oh, you didn't get a life. And a game over screen. Nice! Okay, you get to play again. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if, if you lose all three lives, game's over. Press the button to start again. You complete the game when you have gone through all the mazes, and the score depends on the number of coins collected. There's additional bonus for the remaining lives available. The perfect score is uh, 3,557 coins. Will you be able to reach it? <laughs> no. 3,557? Yes. That's clearing every maze perfectly. Now this is um, a game based on another game. I don't know if I have those notes handy. Based on Chase. I do recall that game. And we played it on... The 7800, I believe. You could probably make, you could make this on like the 2600 using say like Ms. Pac-Man as a template because there's definitely, oh, you went right into him. No, I was, it wasn't going down and I was trying to make it go down. And uh, ha, ha, ha. Because Miss Pac-Man has enough Ugh. room in their in the mazes to. When there's two in a small <laughs> maze, it's really challenging. <laughs> it's tough. It's not oh. a lot of room to negotiate. Go. Yeah. Finally, a dot-eating game with only one ghost. Oh, there's two now. <laughs> ah. Oh, dead immediately. So you get lives when completing a maze. So it's quite uh, forgiving. Oh, oh I didn't it. mean to do that. Get out of there! <laughs> Last life. Ugh, God, this thing is loose. What's loose? Joysticks yeah, loose? Yeah, feels loose. Mm-hmm. Always blaming the joystick. I do. Oh, go down when I want... Go in the direction I want you to. Okay, go ahead. 259 coins. I think that was your best, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a good tactic is to follow them. I mean, it's hard with two, two, uh, two enemies. Oh my god! <laughs> What's that cat doing? Oh, he's found a box. It's quite happy. Did you find a box? Mm -hmm. And I think you can only build up to three lives. Three lives. It that makes sense. It doesn't have four hidden lives. It's only three maximum. Get out of there. There we go. Oh my god. Good job, cat. Good job. I did some uh, beta testing for this game. Oh, did you now? It's lots of fun. It is a fun game. I like that they all have their different movements. Yes. Keeps you on your toes. Oh, see? God. See? See? What did I say? It's me, you, not the joystick. You catch on the edges. <laughs> you do catch on the edges. Oh, this one's tight. It is oh, tight. Whoa. It's so small for two monsters. It's ah, easy. Ah, it's ah. so easy to get caught in between them. Yep. This yeah? one's bigger. Hey, kitten? Yeah. 
Oh God. Which are you? Are you the one that always chases? Are you the one that goes erratically around the room? Are you the one that runs really fast? Uh, it depends on his mood, I think. Which one are you? <gasps> no! I got trapped! I would say he's the one who just follows you around all day. Yeah, he's more like He's this. like the blue guy. He follows you. This guy runs erratically around the room. <laughs> just Crazy all over cat. the place. Yeah, yeah, cute kid. I know, you want bells. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you don't win at bells. I get treats. He likes treats. Blame the eight-way joystick. 100%. Oh, I think it does diagonals, though. Yes, it does. It does do diagonals. Ooh, didn't want to go that way. Don't want to get trapped. Okay. I think I got it. Yes. Good job. Hey. Good job. What are you doing? These cats. Menaces. Always. Menace cats. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yay. Got my, all my lives back, which is Level good. Level 10. I do have an advantage that I've played this game a whole <laughs> lot. Well, there you go. I've played every level. So you should get... What is the score? 2,000 something oh, something? I've already died. I won't get that. It's very hard. Some levels are, I would say, impossible. I'm amazed. Not that impossible, but Vitoko got so many levels in one game. Yeah, I don't. I d yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> How? How? Um, That's amazing. Some some liner. replication of levels. There are okay. some levels that are the same, but with different enemies. Well, but that makes sense. Which changes the way you play it completely. Oh God. Oh, devil guys here. Okay. Amazing! Says Amazing! Gavin. Okay, devil guy, you go on that side. If Perfect. Sprite is off screen while he is being a menace, does that make him the phantom menace? <laughs> uh, oh no! Damn it! Oh, this is not going to be good. I think I should just follow the blue guy. Ah, this game allows eight way joysticks. It will advance in a zigzag when you hold yes. the diagonal. Yes, yeah. Ah, so, if you're clever. Neat. This one has dead ends. This is the first one with dead ends. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my god, no, down. Oof. I think that guy traverses the whole maze, it said. I don't know. Nope. Nope. No, he doesn't. Failed on that one. Oh god. The blue guy's. Kind of annoying he follows because you. he follows yeah. you. It's very slow though. So if you can keep him behind you, it's not so bad. Yes. Um. Or in front of you. But he will go towards you. Ooh, one more. Oh god. Yay! Three lives again. Oh, it's a fast one. Render Ghost says, due to my obsession with Pac-Man and the like, I support this game style. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It does have a bit of a Pac-Man vibe. God. Oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> run! No! No! Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> there were so many maze games after wow. Pac-Man came out. Well, this one is not so Oh, bad. so many dead ends. Yeah, the dead ends of the... Ah! Ugh. Oh. After I die, of course. This one is very easy. You just have to end wait, at the end. wait for that guy. And just end at the end. Yeah. End at the end. Nice. Oh, I'm so slow. Ah, he's so much faster than me. It's great. It's great that there's a super fast guy. Yep, that's what you need for this game. Nice variation of enemies. Keep you on your toes. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hurrah! Ooh, level 18. Oh, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna die immediately. Oh, no. Why'd that blue guy go down? Interesting. That doesn't make any sense. Why isn't he following me? Well, you follow him. Yeah, but he... he can't turn around. I don't he know. He went down when I was above him. Hmm. Logic error. Logic error. 
Oh, that guy. Oh, he could have turned around at that dead end. I was lucky. Oh, the dead ends are, are, are just brutal. Yeah, you have to clear them out when you can. Oh. Uh, ah, no! 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 Oh, squish! I guess I saw it coming. Down a life. Ooh, there's an inner circle there. Oh, okay. Let's go around. What are you doing? What are you doing? No! No! <laughs> okay, let's go around. Oh no, that's dangerous. I'm gonna stay on this side. You chase the pink guy. Yeah. As long as the blue, blue, blue guy doesn't go in, you're okay. Yeah. Well, he stays away. This is death. Ouch, ouch. This is death. Oh, this yeah. one's super hard. He's so fast. Oh ah. dear. <laughs> you just have to kind of hope. Ah, hope for the best at oh. that one. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, go another way. Go a different way. Oh, go a different way. Get out of here. No. Ah, quit following me. Ah. Oh, oh game oh. over. Oh, that was good. Level 24. 1043. Oh, Vitoko. Fantastic. Such a great game. Uh, next one's called Dunes by Kim Ooh. Slauson. Ooh. Well, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. it about Dune? I don't think so. But it's called Dunes. Uh, who's known on the Atari age forums as mm -hmm. uh, OX Coffee. Uh, Extreme 256. Uh, blow up sand dunes with your cannon. Uh, note the color of the dune loaded into your cannon. Color. Then use the joystick to position okay. your cannon above the dunes you want to clear. And press the trigger to shoot your dune. If you shoot your dune uh, into dunes of the same color, the dunes will explode. Every now and then, a color... Don't shoot anything yet. They'll move up the screen. Uh, every now and then, a color-changing bomb will appear on the left of the playfield. If you move the cannon next to the bomb and shoot, it will explode all the dunes of the matching color. Keep playing until the dunes overwhelm you. Okay. Dune is uh, similar to another shooting matching game you may have played, just Upside Dune. Uh, oh! Nope. How do I know what color it is? It's right below your cannon. Oh my god, that's so light. I know. <gasps> that's the challenge. If it didn't have wow. that challenge, so that's darkest. Okay. It. Uh, okay, okay. So there is some... Yeah, if it showed the full dune that you had to shoot, it would be a lot easier. So it is, it's it's a matching game. It's kind of like that um, snake game where you shoot the balls and it disappears the balls. Kind of mixed with tetris -y. It's the it's kind of Doctor Mario. The light versus the slightly darker is so hard. Oh, the two that are the lightest. Okay. Yeah, I find that challenging. Where is that? Yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> it's all one continuous shade. I'm very slow. For the dunes at the borders, you have to match them horizontally. Yeah, you can't go all the way over to the left and right. <sighs> Oh. Oh, so. oh! oh! There you go. Oh my goodness. That. Oh, it, see, it didn't get rid of it. It should have got rid of one on the right, too. That one's dark. I was getting Covey Covey vibes, are how the tiles appear to have eyes. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. They do have little eyes that poke out every once in a while. I think this was an extreme 256 as well. Yes. There's the bomb. Boom. Sort them by color. But they're all black, sir. Or are they? Or are five of them black and the other five are slightly darker black? Obviously, that's a reference to something. Oh, it's moving up the screen. Hi. 
Hi. Hi, little pla pause. <laughs> What's that from, Double Down? Oh, sorry. Didn't know you're jumping. Getting better at it? I don't know. <laughs> the the light colors are really hard. Yeah. It's especially from the distance, too. You get in there? Oh, the balls are in there. No oh. kittens. That's why he wants to get in there. How do you get more? Oh, right? Archer. Oh, duh. Remember that episode where somebody had to sort things by color and they're all black? Oh, I, I don't. I don't remember that, but uh, there are a lot of Archer episodes. There are. It went for how many seasons? It's still a going. Lot. They still had a new no, one. No, no. Yes. It's over. No, I've been watching them. I watched they the last season. Continued after Mallory Archer yes. is yeah. gone? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were going to stop. No. Oh. They had a very recent one. Hmm. Really? Archer, greatest animated show of all time. Oh, fantastic. It's very good. Although Bob's Burgers comes. Oh, Bob's Burgers is very good. I love Bob's Burgers. What's everybody's favorite animated show? Ooh. What about uh, you? King of the Hills, way up there. I was going to say, I knew you were going to say King of the Hills. Way up there. South Park as well. Um... I do like the realism of uh, King of the Hill, and Bob's Burgers isn't super realistic like King of the Hill, but it's it's, it's somewhat it's, it's, realistic. It's, yes, it's, it's grounded, grounded in reality. In some re reality, yeah. Even though it gets a little off track, it gets some. a little silly. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy, I did like Ren and Stimpy. Oh, that helped. <laughs> um, yeah. Back when it was first out, I did like that. <gasps> Family Guy, uh, it's a hit and miss with Family Guy. I find most of them are yeah. pretty good. Um, let's see who else uh, Simpsons early Simpsons uh, Looney Tunes early Looney Tunes uh, Futurama is very good I haven't seen Star Trek Lower Decks but I have heard that's good uh -oh. is that the screensaver in the background kicking in <laughs> when, Maybe. when did that change Trying to think of other cartoons. You like that Japanese one? Agretsuko, yeah. Agretsuko. Uh, that do. one's a good one. We do. Yeah, there's so many Japanese ones that are astounding. I haven't, I've barely watched any. Yeah, we don't watch <laughs> a lot of anime, and no. there's some very good anime out there. Yeah, there is. That run for decades. <laughs> Disenchantment, hiss. I love hiss. Disenchantment. Hiss. James is not a fan. It's so not It is funny. funny. Lies. Futurama, of I, course. Yeah. If you want to cry about... <laughs> Matt Groening? Uh, sorry? Matt no. Groening made Disenchantment, Futurama. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, if you want to cry over dogs, that is... Oh, oh cry over dogs, yes. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. <gasps> yeah. Don't watch that episode. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Carl G says, I like Disenchantment as well, although it wasn't very popular. No. I mean, it was it was like a I, Netflix original kind it, of... Yeah. I found it very bland. I don't know. Oh, you're not you found it bland. I liked it. I yeah. thought it was pretty funny. Like I watched it and I was like, is this supposed to be a comedy? It's not very funny. You shouldn't funny. be asking that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems like it should be a comedy, but I was not laughing a lot. Uh, yeah, if I had to pick one to watch over and over and over and over again. It might be King of the Hill. Yeah? Yep. And I was I was upset that they didn't I mean they couldn't go forward. Oh with, with the new, new King season. Of the Hill yeah. Because Dale died. That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And it was, and he just died like right before they were right kind of starting. Oh, I oh, hit the side. Oh okay. four ninety two. Right, Pretty good. All right, all right. How was that game? 
It's a pretty good matchy game. I liked it. Hard to Dunes. see. Dunes. 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 So we saw Dune 2. Mm. Speaking of Dunes. Um, mm. Miles better than the first one. Yes. Miles better. The, the, the music, the visual effects, the acting, everything was quite good. Yeah. Quite good. I would say, I would say recommend. Oh, hi. So yeah. Uh, I one. think it's a, it's, and it's one oh, to memory test. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> one to see in the theater. It's meant for a big theater. Like, so, like it just looks very, very expansive. And we, well, we saw it on a special screen. We did. We saw it on screen X. Was it called? Is this called Theater X? Screen X? Screen X, Theater X. Yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. X screen. X screen. Let me see. I, I wrote it down. Yeah. Um, better than the one with Agent Cooper. Sc <laughs> screen X. Screen X. Which is, you get the normal screen in the front. Yeah. And then you get two additional screens, one on either side. It's not additional screens. They basically they have are. screen They're material the They're on the side walls. Yeah. So, so it's it like wraps around like you're sitting in, in the screen, but not quite IMAX. They're square, right? Like you're in a square room. Yeah. So there's a screen in front and then two side screens. I will never see one like that again. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad, but I it reminded did. me of like something at an amusement park. Oh, we didn't do it right. Oops, um, that was me. It was interesting. Um, it was distract. It was interesting. It, it was distracting. I found it more distracting than anything else. What was more? What was most distracting? was because it was on the sidewalls, the big red exit emergency signs were lit the whole time. So you're you're That's getting this issue. expansing expansive screen. Yeah. And like oh dead. It's fine. Uh this expansive screen. Yes. And then there's a big red exit <laughs> sign in the middle of Constantly. the sand dune. And yes. that really bothered me. I have to say that really really annoyed me. Yeah. Because it, it almost like takes you out of it. Um Thanks but, a bit poet. Um yeah. like when you change resolutions and reboot and do stuff like that oh, it throws no. the encoder for a loop oh because it's like i think missing video oh. but not missing any audio so it strays it so kind of goes just off. let me know if the audio is off yeah. ever the idea is uh, from an old one from a home theater the problem i found with two times they are out of sync so it's noticeable on big scene transitions ours was right in sync but they look decent. like they were filmed using gopros <laughs> they were really fuzzy they were always out of focus the sides were fuzzy i don't know if that's on purpose it probably is so you're not focusing on it well and we were also towards the back of the theater and i wonder if you're further forward like not you're not supposed to see like oh, it's more meant to be on the side of you peripheral peripheral yeah not a focus yeah but it was out of focus completely all the time it yeah it, it so i wonder if actually sitting closer to the screen would be more what they intended probably um, like halfway down we were almost to the back and past the red exits <laughs> oh, i can't do much about those um also there the uh compression on them was so high mm -hmm. there was a lot of banding yeah on dark scenes yeah so there was like strips of color I, I didn't really I notice if you've seen that. Banding, you know what that is. But but I I trust you on that because I don't really like. Yeah, was, I didn't really was, notice that. I found I noticed more the fuzziness of it. Yeah, yeah. it was very badly encoded. Mm, if anything, that's not good. That's like not good. unreasonably badly encoded. Like there's no reason it should be that low yeah. bit of a bit rate. I still think it was not meant to really be viewed. I think it was meant to be in the periphery, Just there. so you feel more like you're immersed in the screen. Yes, and they um, used it at very certain times. It wasn't yeah. throughout the whole show. Parts of it were black, and parts of it it almost expanded outwards. Yeah. yeah. Um, some of it is generated. Some of it is filmed. Yes. And I could tell the difference between the ones that were actually filmed because there was people moving. Yes, there were. And parts that were like computer generated, probably not AI generated, no. but um, computer generated to fill in. Where, where it might just be sand dunes around you. Because all yeah. they need to do is mount some crappy cameras, yeah. <laughs> not great ones, decent ones, yeah. on the side of the main camera that overlap. Mm. And then they can just stitch it later on. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be good because they weren't good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're on to the next one. Uh, it's also by Vitoko. It's called End Yay! Endless Endless Road Runner. Uh, oh. Jump over the cacti. What is going on there? Those digits should not be there. 
Mm -hmm. Oh no, you get a bonus digits. Bonus digits. It's frozen. Oh, it's frozen. Okay, that would explain it. Uh, we'll reboot it. Jump over the cacti during your run to avoid coyotes, rockets that follow you. Jump. Okay. Um, you are, and you don't. Um, Ooh, excuse me. You also don't want to hit the arrow. Do you duck or you just jump? You don't need to duck. You, you just don't just jump. jump. Okay, like that. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, you're the roadrunner. Use the button to jump over the cactus. Use the joystick to move left or right. Uh, avoid the rockets while you jump. There's only one life. How many points could you get? You've gotten three. Oh. Oh, and frozen. Frozen. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Which came first, roadrunner or coyote? Uh, that's a good question. I'm sure they were both in the same cartoon. First. No, no. Well, there's two games. There's a road runner oh. and a coyote game. That is I'm assuming that's what that's in reference so to. So don't crash it. Oh, I just hit up. That's okay. No, it, it will work. I just... Left, right, and jump. That's all you get. Oh, oh it was close. Ah! Uh, i got to move forward. Yeah, you're right. Be where the arrow is not, oh. or the rocket is not. Great uh, graphics in this one. The Roadrunner looks incredible. Cactus is great. The rocket is good. You know, it's a rocket. <laughs> I think that's the same problem with the Bonkum cartridge. Oh, interesting. Meep, meep. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm just gone. Disrated by cactus. Um... <laughs> I jumped Oof. too soon. Way I also too soon. Double jump a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't need to hold it down. Holding it down does not make you go longer. Ah, oh, right into it. Okay, my turn. All right. Before it 16. crashes. <laughs> First episode short of Roadrunner is 1949? Holy really? crap. Wow. I didn't think it was that old. I thought it was older. You thought a lot it was of the lo Looney Tunes are like really old. But I didn't think that specific one was. Oh my god. I actually was thought that it old? was older. I, always, really? I thought it would, would be like the 30s or something what like is that. Happening? Why am I so terrible? 40s. Anyway. The rocket looks like an arrow. <laughs> it sure does. Well. Well, it is going in that direction. It looks like an Acme <laughs> rocket. You know, it's red. Yeah. Um, meep, meep. Meep, meep, meep. I like the Roadrunner. Roadrunner's so cute. It's trouble. Trouble. Like a kitten. Oh, that was a bad move. He's Hi. like, he's trying to distract you. He's doing a great job. Yeah, he is. Um, so what were your thoughts about doing the movie? Frozen? I didn't touch it. Hitbox is too big. Um... Oh, I already said it was very good. Everything was good. You liked it. Um, you, you I, I were didn't not, love it. You were not thrilled with the first one. Oh, I had to terrible. drag him to this one, and if it didn't have the the fancy screen, I'm it's not sure you would have gone. I'm not sure you would have gone. It's the only reason I went because I wanted to see the fancy screen. Because I was like, well, it's not gonna crash. Six five nine crash. <laughs> What's going on with my system? I don't know. Is it my system? I hope not. I don't want to diagnose problems like that. That's impossible. One more. It's a RAM issue. Is it? I don't know. Um, uh, I quite, I didn't mind the first one and I was the motivator to go to the second one. I wanted to see the well, second one. You must one. have loved the second one then. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> if great. You liked the first one. Well, no, I liked the first one. I didn't think it was bad, but I felt like it was part one. So I wanted to see part two. It's crashing. I don't know why. 659, good score. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we've seen this one. Um, so let's take this. That was a P PUR80. Mm -hmm. I don't know why basic's crashing. What is happening? Maybe my basic uh, ROM is mm. corrupt. Oh, no, not corrupt basic. That's not good for a basic 10 liter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Day. Hey, kittens. Next one's called Falling Balls. Did you corrupt the basic kittens? Corrupted the basic ROM. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh. sorry. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Falling balls. Uh, so pick the uh, bottom EXEX. Yeah. 
There you go. Okay. I have to type run to start. All these various things. I had to make sure I knew what the hell I was doing before. Oh, I did your multi cart failure. It might be conflicting with the basic ROM. Mm. Oh, thank you, Vitoko. Hmm, interesting. Because I don't run very many basic games yeah. on the show. Um, Falling Balls is a simple arcade <laughs> game for one player. The player must drop balls into the baskets at the bottom of the screen in the shortest pa possible path. Okay. The longer the ball travels across the screen, the fewer points he she accumulates. Um, so this is another cross-platform one, so you can start it up. So you want to um, get as vertical as possible. So 210 points. So the best score would be dropping straight into a bucket. That's not as good. Well, you don't choose which direction it goes in. No, you don't. So it is random. Mm. Some of them don't go into buckets. I think you got one where they all go into buckets. Maybe that not one on the right doesn't. Mm. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose, 8 bit poet? <laughs> It's Plinko. It pretty much is Plinko. That it one's a good Plinko. one. 225. I think that's the best score you can get. Mm. Is on the left. Because there's not a lot of... Oh, see, it goes it, it's slightly uh, different. Oh, yeah. Didn't need to do that. 199. Not bad. Above 200 is probably the best. Oh, if it went to the right. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so this was a um, cross-platform game. Uh, Atari... Um, Atari. Amstrad CPC 664. TRS-80 Color Computer 1 and 2. Oh, there you go. Now I think oh, it's hard. I think it is random, which way it goes, or does it go opposite every other? I don't think so. Right, left. No, it did left twice. It is random. It picks a direction. That one's not bad. I think the leftmost is always consistently the best. No. Right there. Nope, because it'll go to the right soon oh. as it goes to the left. I don't know. No, which... it's completely random. That one's not bad, actually. That's probably the worst score you can get dropping it there. Dropping it in that um, hole on the right. <laughs> 3940. Now, this the game is. Conveyors, maybe. Oh, maybe. They're not moving, though. This is right, Plinko. Oh, different. So, I'm going to get a perfect score. Because <laughs> this one's set up to do that. That's the absolute. Uh, oh, what? I see. It's different no, score. No, 232. Oh. 232. Oh, okay. Now there's some little oh. dots there. Oh, oh no. Draw. Mm. I oh. wasted a ball, so don't drop it there because that's going to go well, nowhere. Well, there's only one path you want to take. Is that one? Is that one. Well, that's not very fun, is it? <laughs> but even dropping it here, it's just going to go left or right. And I can't, I can drop it there, which is, it's going to go nowhere. Missed. So it's pointless you know you dropping it there. I could drop it anywhere along there. But yeah. Interesting. You don't want it to fall off that platform because it will always miss. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, that's how you yeah, do it. It's, uh, I think it. This game needs something else. Just a. It's yeah. a good idea. It's got a lot going for it. I, I'm those guessing things. this is randomly drawn. Yeah. And then sometimes you get a, a situation like this where there's just one path. Where you're you can get take. a perfect score. Yeah, exactly. 232 times 15. Could oh. have gotten a perfect score. I know. Totally pooched it. So I know. <laughs> I could have. Yeah. Interesting, though. Doesn't make that, for very, yeah, yeah. very interesting boink, boink, boink. game. Hey, Black Kitten. Hi. Come here. Why don't you come up here and cut Two balls left. I think if the conve if you could see the conveyors mm -hmm. and they changed randomly and you could see which way they're moving and those blocks moved across the screen. That would be more interesting. Randomly blocking If there your was path. some movement, yeah. Then you'd be like, oh my God, okay, that one's moving. Yeah. Then it switched. Then the block is there. Yeah. Speed run a perfect game. The ultimate, ultimate test. test. Yeah. We'll just, let's just see one more. Yeah. It's missing some graphics there. See, here we go. Okay, we'll do a perfect game. 20 times 232, 4,640. 4, right? Sure. There. Ready to do two balls. And then there's. Then I can say I've conquered this game. <laughs> Never have to play it again. Let's try. <laughs> 
You can, your only hope is to tie me, just like in Pac-Man. <laughs> Where you can get like three million or something, and the first person who did it was, that's, that's it. It's yeah. done. That's kind of cool. You can't beat that person. No, that person has won. You can only tie has, them. Has won Pac-Man. Yeah. It's like the kid who won Tetris. <laughs> that's right. But um, I believe you can do a higher score on Tetris. Go for the patch. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going for the just patch. Just a ball. Seven. Yeah, just a ball. Hey. Just a rubber bouncy ball. There there, go. There's the ball. There's the ball right there. Yep. Pink ball. Pink. Pink. Oh, ah, uh, there's a big eye. Oh, right big eye cat. The computer will crap out on the last ball. No. There's only two more to go. Don't crash, computer. I believe in you. Yay! Four six four, four zero. Six, four, zero. Perfect score! Yay! I win the patch. You win the ball. Oh, I got the ball. Yay! <laughs> okay. Excellent. Uh, very Move interesting right concept. If they wanted to extend it, I think you could make this um, a, quite an interesting game. Okay, next game is by Vitoko. <gasps> Another one. Another Working one. Working hard. Yep, it is Fly Hunter 10L. And this is in the PUR 120. Last one was in the Extreme 256. Nice. Catch as many flies in a row hanging from your web. You may recognize this game. Mm. Beware the frog is lurking below in the puddle. <gasps> Frogs. The puddle is always full of flies. Press the button to begin the hunt. You are the spider. Remember this game? Did you play it? You played this game. I do. Ah, it was on the 2600. Um, you are the spider over a tree branch and you have to catch every single fly. You can move to the left and to the right uh, through the branch using the joystick. That frog is hiding. Uh, with a button, you can hang using your cobweb and go down to catch the flies. You earn a point for each fly you catch. Oh, you're going to die. <laughs> There's a frog hidden in the puddle. You can see it peek out when you're close to it. I love that it's hidden until it gets close to you and then it goes whoop. It, and it kind of hides itself. Yeah. And you can stay at the bottom. It's dangerous with the frog. Because he only pokes his head out when you're um Nearby. When you're close. And then it's almost too late. Scary. He got me out of nowhere. I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> I like the frog poking out a couple of times before it jumps yes. out. Yes. Seven. Jeez. Oh, maybe it was Erilyn. Did you play this one? I. Maybe it was Erilyn. Think I did, or I watched. Watched some of it. Oh, oh getting too fancy. Getting too fancy. So we're gonna look at the code of this one and how. Fotoko did it. Just to give people an idea, a little bit of an idea of what goes into making these 10 line games. Oh, what? Oh, run! No! Oh. Seven is still my highest. Wow. Is it? It's not an easy game. That frog is. I played the original version for the 2600. I remember playing it. It is a good game. It is yep. a good game. It's a very good game. It's it's this really fun mechanics and the frog freaks you out when it jumps ah, up. Excellent translation yeah. in ten lines. I oh, eight already, already beaten. That frog, man. Uh, really, you want to kind of make it jump? Yeah, you kind of want to make it, it kind of reset it because it resets for a bit. And then it's out of your way for a bit. deadly you can't mess around with that frog oh sweet baby cat <laughs> someone's hungry oh hungry for treats <laughs> it's much easier with the joystick than uh, playing on the keyboard mm. Can do this well on the keyboard. Come on. Some games with the keyboard is easier. 
Oh, come on, jump. Fine. Toko said he got... I can't remember what score he got. Quite high. 70-something? Like, yeah, I think it was around 70. Absurdly high. <laughs> you even got the fast and slow flies in the game, yeah? Yeah. The fast he ones said it was trouble. easier to capture the flies from the bottom. I remember it being easier at the bottom. <sighs> it easier to time. But then on the fly. Mm -hmm. Then the tr the frog. I certainly trouble. found it easier at the bottom. It it kind of is, but as long as you see the frog risky. coming. Yes, then then it's fine. Yeah. Because you can. You can... <gasps> Oh, right, nostalgic. Me. Have a good night. 50. Very good. Good night, nostalgic. I'm not beating that score. <laughs> 10, draw tree. 20, draw spider. <laughs> Maybe. Pretty close. Um, so let's take a look at the code for this. Nice. Um, very, very uh, good game. Excellent translation. Okay. Like, quickly look at the code. We're not going to analyze it. That's a bit much. Okay. When you pull that up, I'm gonna come right back. Can you get me water? Yeah, I'll get you some water. I also need something to drink, so thank you. Hmm. Okay. Let me bring this up. Fly hunter. One second. Here we go. Fly hunter ten L. I'll make this a bit bigger. And we'll scroll past this. Development of the game. A ZPH show featured a work in progress game called Fly Hunter for the Atari 2600 console. That was very attractive. It was published by 8 Poet, who is in the chat tonight, uh, in the Atari Age forum. It started as a very simple gameplay, but it got many new elements soon after some comments uh, from the community. A version that was presented in the show had many simple animations and improved the gameplay. There's the initial one. And there it is with, uh, oh, a worm as the enemy. That's right. Using a frog instead of a worm. I was impressed by the game, and I thought I could port it to a simple basic 10-liner. So I started a prototype. The first thing I did, did, I did was to design the sprite bitmaps. Using DLI feature of Fast Basic, it could be simple to recreate the play field, where I did first halfway. <laughs> yeah. Um, fast ba uh, basic, it could be simple to create the recreate the play field where I did the first animation, the frog mm -hmm. jump, including the water splash, which was not in the final. Then I added the spider, made it move along the sides to hang. There's the spider. Uh, when I added the fly, I decided to change the bitmaps of the sprite because I wouldn't use hitboxes but uh, player missile collisions. That required to separate the spider from the web and use two different player missile graphics in order to not capture the fly using the web while hung. I added the score, but immediately noticed the problem. No more room for basic source code. At that point, the animations were nice, but there were no sound effects, and the game dynamics was not the way I wanted. Almost everything moved at the same speed. Fast, but difficult to play. So it needed some space for tweaking. I had to decide which features must be removed to recover some coding space. And the splash and the wavy fly gone away. Mm. New playfield, but less effects. After a couple days tweaking and commenting the code, I could have I could have a working release candidate. I sent it to some friends to beta test it, me, and receive some feedback. A couple hours later, I think I have it, and used the... Oh, no, I didn't... Did I play this one? We played it, but this... No, this one early. I'm, uh, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I used the extra bytes to enhance some effects. So the good thing about Vitoko is he posts... His development That's amazing. information mm. plus fully commented code. Mm. So if you wanted to make basic games, you could really learn a lot from um, reading through his code. So here's all the player missile graphics. P0 frog, P1 fly, P2 spider, P3 web thread. In the Atari 2600, you only have P0 and P1. Not P2 and P3. You only have mm. two. No missiles are used. Um, D address binary data uh, plus one so it's loading up a whole bunch of data which is probably lower down somewhere um, <clears throat> uh, 
That looks like machine code. Copy the character set to RAM and place one character with a block to draw free, but it's not machine code. Just moving stuff. I'm guessing that's allowed. Setting the graphics mode. Da, 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 da. So you get to see all of the code right here. So if you wanted to make your own game, mm. um, this is a good one to look because it's not only coding, it's squishing that code down, down to into 10 bare lines. Bones, right? Bare, yeah. bare, bare bones. Nice. Like you probably wouldn't have the word repeat. It would be like RE or something. Mm -hmm. What are you doing running around? Are you crazy? Are you crazy cat? Oh, they're crazy. Um, no missiles are in use, just a huge arrow. Just kidding. Just a huge arrow. <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's so sweet. You just cute. need to harness this energy into a computer game. Well, you got to put him in uh, mm. one of those wheels, hamster wheels. Oh my gosh. He'd power you, the whole house. You can. You Just see the image at the beginning of the code. There's the whole code. That's Ooh, what it look looks that. like. Wow. The actual code looks like. You can't even read right. it. Like... Like you can see okay? that B equals X. E, uh, where's the c increase Y? Wow. E L I. We can't see it on screen. Oh, oops. Switched over to the cat. <laughs> can't see. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, there's the. Um, oh, wow. The graphics represented mm -hmm. in ASCII. Because mm. that's probably the smallest way you can represent. Mm. Um, two hex characters because it's like zero <laughs> to two fifty five. Oh. <laughs> in the cut by cat. <laughs> Represented f with one character. That's mm. very very clever. Wow. Yeah. And unreadable, absolutely unreadable. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. I can't even see where the line breaks are. Like, where? Like, how do you even see the line breaks? Is, is it just, there's no zero? Oh my God. Amazing. I can't read this at all. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. I played in my Tandy with separate buttons for each punch and kick. Oh, you're talking about Karatika. Mm -hmm. Or Karatika. Hmm, I never knew how to pronounce that. <laughs> Specifically. I see Fly Hunter in Game, Game Over. over yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all you can read in this. Wow. There it is, Game Over. I saw Game Over, yeah. It's like uh, a word search. <laughs> yeah, there's Fly Hunter right there. Yeah, very oh, nice. this is a graphic. I can't highlight things. Very nice. Yeah, wow. there it is. Fly Hunter. Yeah, this is impossible to read. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, excellent, excellent game in 10 lines of code. Okay, let's continue on with the last games. Uh, the next one's called Gunner by Eric Carr. Excellent. Thank you again, Vitoko. Yes, thank you for wow. being here and making these awesome games. Wow. So, Such a great game. if you could load up Gunner, please. This one is in the uh, 120 uh, XCX. Uh, game story. Background. Inspired by Gunner sequences in Beachhead. I knew it was Beachhead. As soon as I saw the picture for this one, oh, yeah. I was like, that's straight out of Beachhead. I wrote this small shooter game. Help! Enemy planes are headed our way. Hold off as many as you can for as long as you can. This is almost exactly a level in Beachhead, a mm. game I played a lot of my 60, C64, oh, gotcha. which I beat a number of times. Oh, it's not starting. Mm. So Try up, down, place? left, right. No. Maybe I have to press start. No. Maybe it's frozen. Let's reset. Let's try it again. I don't think it's supposed to be purple. Try it now. Space. Oh, there we go. So what am it I is doing? enter. I'm shooting. So press a button to shoot. That's so you have to press down to, or up to make it higher or lower. Oh my gosh. Higher. There you go. Repeat. Um, if your plane gets close enough, they will shoot you and you'll lose a gunship. Lose three ships and it's game over. Oh my goodness. How to play. Use the joystick to move left. Uh, move your gun left and right. Pull back to, uh, to aim higher. Push forward to aim lower. Press a button to fire the gun. When the game ends, gunner will again display. Press return to begin a new game. Gameplay tips. Vertical accuracy is more critical than horizontal accuracy. Oh my gosh. If a shot misses, try nudging slightly up or down. A plane will be shot regardless of its distance. In the... Um, 
beachhead game, there was also ships in the distance you had to shoot. And it would land in the water and splash. That's all you would know uh, for distance. And you I keep had to... going the wrong way. This is my problem. Oh, oh it's almost there. It's got... Yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh, they're not seeing it. Uh -oh. oh, no. We're so bad. Bad. Well, you I didn't want to see that game anyway. <laughs> Silly game. There were provocative dune popcorn buckets. Oh, now yes. I'm now I'm intrigued. Oh, I got that one perfect. There were? Uh yeah, they were Was it like sandworms. The... Sandworms? You, you stuck your hand in their mouth. Oh, I did see something about that. That is so funny. They're very strange. I I why? Why? Yeah. Creepy. Super creepy, creepy. and strange. No, I didn't see them. I did get popcorn though, but I don't think uh, Cineplex... I mean, we didn't, we didn't exactly go on opening night. Well, Cineplex oh, had die. just their normal bags, so... <laughs> yeah. No crazy buckets. That's probably just opening night. Ah! Yeah. That is funny. I did definitely get some Star Wars vibes watching Dune, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I really did. I think it's just good the... Good ones? The, uh, no, yeah, good ones. I mean, um... I just think of like sand planets and monsters oh, yeah. and I, yeah, Tatooine and there's just something about it that just really gave me Star Wars vibes. I mean, it is like a gigantic space opera, so. One thing that baffled me is that um, the people indigenous to the sand planet. Yeah. Whatever their names are. Fremen. No, Fremen. Do have technology that they can shoot people, but they rarely use it. They usually run right up to them with swords. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Use your projectiles. Your gun. Yeah. Use your gun, people. I mean, if you're gonna hide and jump out and get them, sure, and close in. But they all have guns, and they also brought out their swords when they were attacked with swords. It's like, what is happening? It didn't make any sense. Warfare is weird tends to mix be of tech. very selective to suit um, plot plot reasons. Yeah, plot reasons. definitely was a plot reason. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, oh, 4,200. Mm. Yeah, I did watch uh, Hodorowski's Dune. Yeah, we did watch it a while ago. A yeah. long time ago. Yeah. His looked crazy. Yeah. Crazy good, but... Yeah. Um, where you see all the films like Alien and Star Wars are greatly influenced by that 70s adaption of Dune. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that that does not surprise me in the slightest. There's definitely some yeah um, crossover between. Yeah, you're probably just overthinking it. Probably. <laughs> okay, you play again. One more. Yep. Oh, I have to press enter. Oh, why? Why? I probably didn't want to put a uh, timeout. Take up more code. This is a very challenging game. Oh, I, I, I always want to go the opposite direction I need to. Think planes. No, I, I can't. Can't think planes. I'm not a plane person. I see. You're going to die. I know. Oh. <laughs> Tolkien did not like Herbert's Dune. I just read that the other day. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. I can't remember why. Yeah, I, he didn't actually say why he didn't like it. He just didn't. No, wrong way. Oh, see, unless I get the the way right, I'm... Ugh. One life left. Graphics and concept in this uh, this game is really, really good. Ah, oh, nice. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Getting the hang of it. Oh, my goodness. No. No. <laughs> You are going to die real quick. Oof. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is there an on-screen cursor that I can't see? No, there is no, not. That's part that's of the, part challenge. challenge. Yep. You want another hit? No, I did well. Okay. <laughs> the instruction to read the enter uses only two bytes of compressed source code. To read the joystick requires at least 10 bytes. Ah. Mm. So they made me get up and make it non-couch compliant for the uh, 
for the reason of saving bites. Mm. I guess if you have bites left over, you could include the button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I respect Tolkien for thinking that C.S. Lewis's Stealth Jesus, Stealth book, Jesus book series was great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next game. Uh, Jacks or better video poker. Uh, by D. Scott Williamson. This is in the extreme. So, so load it up, and then I have to type a bunch of commands because it doesn't auto run it. The stealth wasn't times. very stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Load D one bit poker. Don't be hands. Close your quotes because I don't feel like it. <gasps> Are you allowed to do that? <laughs> it's illegal. Gameplay instructions between hands, pressing dollar sign will add twenty five dollars to your cash, which we have to cash. Oh. More cash. Uh, pressing plus will increase your bet by $1. Oh, you have to use the uh, keyboard for you this do, whole thing. You unfortunately. Okay. I'll be the keyboard. You Yay. can shout out commands to me. Uh, plus will increase... Your bet? Your bet. Where's plus? There it is. There we go. Okay. Minus will decrease it. Okay. Uh, pressing enter will place your bet and deal five cards if the player has enough cash to place a bet, since we can give ourselves as much cash as we want. This is a lot of ca characters in it for mm -hmm. for a, a game. Okay. So, um, uh, ten of diamonds, six of hearts, king of spades, five of spades, five of diamonds. So we have a pair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> During the hand, after initial deal, press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Often is needed to toggle discard or holding. So, oh, Hold. I see. So they're all discard right yeah. now. So what we would like, we would What's like to tea? do. What's T? 10, because it's only one character. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, James is a keyboard monkey. Yeah, woo. Yeah. Um, just, just hold. What are you doing? Hold the 5 and 5. Okay. Yeah. And then enter to discard and replace. Well, that didn't help. Nope. Ten to, and we won zero dollars. And we lost one. That's fine. So oh, this is going to be very slow. If, do if it I again. Do. So we can go up yep. to five. Go to five. Six, six, eight, ten, and four. Uh, uh, pff, no cards that are all hearts or anything. I don't like any of them. Um, Auto train its entire sprite. Yeah. Can you learn to press these buttons? Yeah. You? He's like, what are you saying? The sixes again? Uh, uh, no, just all the reds. All the reds, okay. One, two, and four. Why not? Not easy on a black and white <laughs> display, kind of. Oh, uh, we won Nothing. zero dollars. Oh, boy. We're losing. Let's do the same. Ten, queen, two, two, ten. Uh, uh, we've got two the diamonds. Ten, two, two, and ten, please. Okay, ten, two, two, ten. Open for three of a kind. And you mean a full house, but... Oh, straight. Oh, they didn't turn off the sound. Is oh, it a straight? That's not a straight. A 10, ace, 2, 2, and a 10? No. That's weird. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, a, oh, now it's all it's screwed up. It's a two up. pair. <laughs> the cards are screwed up. Two pair, agree, 8-Bit Poet and BBG two Double pair. Down. Yeah. That's a two pair, not a straight. And I'll they, take a straight. I'll take the money. They didn't turn off the sound after starting the sound. Oh, Sorry, no. everyone. Uh, it's dead. It's it's no. It didn't it's work. Working. It didn't work. It's called it a straight. It's a two two pair. Yeah, but we, we oh we can't even see the first. Yeah, no. But I can hold it. It's it's uh you're gonna have to reboot. <laughs> okay. I have to type in the even thing. Even I again. know that's not a straight. <laughs> Something seems to be wrong with your setup, says Pseudo Graphics. My setup? Mm. Something is off. I don't know if it's my setup. Is this the one that turns yellow? No. Okay. Uh, we're not using the 
the RGB out right now. Okay. Using S video out. So okay. we're bypassing that whole video card. That whole yellow, yeah. This is the everything's okay alarm. The alarm will sound as so long as everything's okay. Uh, DOS days, or basic days. Um, okay, we're back. All right, enter. Deal. Jack, uh, Jack, ooh, five and eight. Two Jacks, please. Jack, queen, five, four. Error, 13, <laughs> line nine. <laughs> line nine has a lot of problems. <laughs> you had to press break key and type run. Run instead of reboot? Oh, yeah, I guess I could have. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> the Toko knows. I, I was not even thinking, oh, I'm in basic. Poor line just... nine. I know line nine just keeps failing. Seven, eight, nine, two and king. Might as well do the seven, eight, nine. Risky, risky. Very. Nope. Nothing. Win zero. I love how it says win zero. Well, you did win zero. You won <laughs> nothing. Five, nine, jack, four, four. Uh, got Jack. three spades. Just Jack? Yeah. Ten, ten, Jack, seven, Boo. six. You win zero win dollars. Zero. We're going to play till we win something. Well, we only have five dollars left, so. Oh, we can oh ten dollars left. We can, we can increase it. Um, right. True. Seven, four, three, ace, ace. and six. Ace. Just hold on to the ace. Why not? Seven, nine, queen, ace, and four. Oh, my goodness. Lots of money now. Flush. Seven, seven, four, king, and a two. Two sevens? Two, mm. two and a four. Uh, one, three four, spades. and five. One, four, five. Oh, okay. oh, no, and the seven. Sorry. One, two, four, five. Oh. Boo! Two kings. Two a kings. Pair. Oh, it turned off the sound. Yay! Jacks or better? Yep. You got a pair of kings. Okay. Uh, ooh, a whole bunch of nothing? Two, three, four, five. Those are all of the same, uh, all reds, right? Yep. Reds. Four. Jacks are better. Yay. Oh. Win $5. What? Isn't this that a is flush? A flush is all reds or all blacks? I can't remember now. Is it all one color or is it all I think it's hearts? All one. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I. Two, three, four, six. Yeah. Can go for a five. Nine, nine, nines has come a death. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Is is a flesh all one color or is it all hearts, all diamonds? I, I think it's all hearts. Uh, I think it's yeah, all one of one type. I think it is all it's one. It's not type. start poker for the C sixty four. I'm not. Not interested. interested. <laughs> Four, three, two, three, four, and six. Look for a five, or is that too risky? No, just keep the king. <laughs> yep. Two pair, or one pair. What? Yeah, you. it's jacks or better. You have to get a pair of jacks. A pair isn't enough. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I said you hold on to the king. I see. Five, uh, three, eight, queen, and ace. No, all eight. one suit. It is all one suit. It just okay. shows you how long it's been since I played poker. Um, you can hold on to the ace and queen if you want. One and five. Nothing. Nothing. You won zero dollars. Color matching isn't a thing. I'm thinking <laughs> of something else. Oh, <laughs> color matching is not a thing. <laughs> Nine, uh, four, four, four. Th is terrible. I don't Two know. fours? If you want to, but it's no good if, uh, if it's we just a pair. Th you have to get, get another four. Uh, 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 nothing else. Really, right? <laughs> Hope for another four. No, we didn't get another four. I I've looked at the tables and the probabilities and odds on things in the past, but I don't remember anything. Two nines. <laughs> James. There's nothing else, really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nothing. We could wager on a game of Uno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go fish. Go fish. Uh, Three. 
Nothing. They saw us coming. Three queens. Oh, good job. Three of a kind. Go for more. Oh, Error. <laughs> Error five at line eight. Nice. Well, that's the end of that game. Next time I'll look up what the uh, card values are. <laughs> Review it again. Um, pretty pretty decent display for ten lines of code. Oh my god! I'm pretty sure I've Full played. Screen. I've seen video poker that that it looks pretty similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> Other than having the shape of a card. <laughs> and color. Probably. Um, I've seen some pretty basic video pokers, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next one's called Magic Carpet Ride by Eric Carr. This is in the PUR80 category. Mm. Magic Carpet Ride. Uh, so load up the ATR. Wait, wait, wait. This one? Go for it. type things. This doesn't look right. I'm going to type it anyway. Oh. Oh, it does work. So there's only pushing down and up to avoid the arrows. Uh, inspired by Disney's Aladdin movie, I came up with the idea of Aladdin riding a carpet, oh, cool. dodging arrows and collecting hearts. Ooh, collecting hearts. Uh, I ran out of space for hearts. <laughs> okay, so there's no hearts. But I still arrived at a fun, endless dodging game that starts slow and gets uh, quickly gets difficult. Gameplay, the game starts immediately. Use your joystick to dodge up and down. Press the joystick button on game end to start again. Very good graphics for the, uh, for the Aladdin mm -hmm. character. Oh, nice okay. joke. Run DMC. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh. But it is called Magic Carpet. So he didn't, he just avoided putting the R there. Oh, it comes very fast. He, he, he doesn't move too fast either. It's a slight delay. There is a slight delay. Which makes it challenging. Ugh. <laughs> you have to hold it too. Oh. Oh, corrupted Aladdin. And the arrows are disappearing. Oh, you can get a high score. Oh my goodness, I can. <laughs> I don't think he'll die, though. I wonder if we can break. And start it again. There we go. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. Oh, corruption. Oh, let's load this up. Line nine! Change the multi-cart, says Vitoko. Change the multi-cart to another multi-cart? He says it's the multi-cart. Mm. I don't know what I'm supposed to change it to. It's the only multi-cart we have. <laughs> Boot with the Fuji. Well, I'd have to oh. transfer all these files over to the Fuji. It's it's surviving. We'll 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 make our way through it. <laughs> oh. What? How'd you die? Don't know. Didn't even see it. Broken. I held it down. It was the uh, invisible arrow that killed you. Oh, Ooh, it my doesn't God. like it when I hold it down. Oh no! Never had issues with basic on my sub AVG. Hmm. Mm. It could be something that I have set, because I hardly ever play. That is not good. How do you get into the menu? Here we go. Any of these settings? Anything about basic? I don't see any basic things. Should I turn off the stereo pokey emulation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like the stereo. Check OS select. Oh boy. Um, where would that be? Oh, there. OS select. There it is. It's on auto. What should I put it on? Pseudo graphics disabled. No operating system. 
XL13 plus HSIO, QMAG OSB, empty shoestring. Try XL1.3. Got it. Let's try this. Ah! Oh, it crashed pretty quick, so we should be able to see if that fixes it. Thank you, Pseudo Graphics. Oh, oh, it's, I'm not fast enough. It's 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 fast. It's hard to react. They get faster. Quite quickly they get fast. 150. Good one. That's probably your best, I think. Don't so thank me too fast. It was just a wild guess. <laughs> okay. Well, so far it's surviving. Uh, Atari needs to restart to apply a security update. Restart now. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Please wait. 90, 99 percent. Yeah. Oh, then you reboot in, and it's like another. Oh, please, please restart to update, and you do that about five uh, times in a row. Yep. It's like, it's like come again. on, can't you do it in one? <laughs> do it in one. Oh, it's so hard at that level. It is hard. It it speeds fast. up really fast. I do like the the Aladdin on it's the Magic really Carpet. Good graphics. Really nice, really nice. That little wavy. I think most of the uh, Wavy programming... Carpet. 150, I tied. I think most of the uh, data in the basic program went to the, for the carpet animation. DVG, your version of Atari Basic may not be authentic. You may be the victim of software piracy. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, I might be. That's why, it's, that's why it's crashing so much. I don't have authentic basic <laughs> from Microsoft. Microsoft Basic. Yeah, right. they they supply Basic for so many That's computers. That's true. That is true. Like the C sixty four had Microsoft Basic on it. It's crazy. I think it was debadged Microsoft Basic. Debadged. Because they bought it, I think. Oh. Ah, one forty. They paid a one time fee for it. I think. I oh, remember. I see. From oh. from Microsoft. From Microsoft, and they never did it again. <laughs> Ox Coffee, you wouldn't download a carpet. <laughs> a carpet. Oh my god. Oh, it's great. Wow. That's that's a great reference. Thank you, Win. Yeah. Oh, 160. Yay. Okay, your turn. My turn. Yep. Gotta be 160, eh? I see you're using a non standard uh -oh. basic. Uh oh. Interest. Oh no. It didn't work, but it uh, lasted a long time. On to the last he game. Wants me to win. Oh, it did die. And the last game is Tetris by Eric Carr in the Extreme 256 category. Um, now this is graphically impressive. And it's got the full music too. Wow! I'm impressed. Uh, games back, game background. January of this year was the first time somebody uh, played the NES Tetris game until it crashed, finally beating it. To celebrate this feat, I present the NES Tetris inspired game for the Atari. It uses no player missile graphics or DLI, just a custom character set. I enhance my music code to play patterns to allow for longer song before it repeats. Uh, adjust the pieces as they fall to complete uh, rows at the bottom. Uh, complete row will be cleared and score points. Complete multiple rows to score higher. We all know how to play Tetris. We all know or how to play people. Tetris, yes. And you can pause this game, too. Gameplay tips. Try to save up to clear all four rows at once. This is known as a Tetris. It scores you the most points. Each yes. level increases your score when clearing rows. For a challenge and higher scoring, start at level 9. Poly Polygox says, wow, you sure it's only 10 lines? It is because they all have to post their source code. That's amazing. Yeah, this is mind-blowingly good. Like just the graphics. Let forget the gameplay, the graphics, and the music. And the controls are very good. Do you agree? Yeah. 
Excellent. Like, like it's proper Tetris controls where you can bring it down. Some some Tetris clones are like, oh, you drop down, it's going all the way down. This one you can stop going down. Ideally a different color for each piece, but uh, other than that, super damn impressive. It Doesn't it have a different color? It's got blue for that, white for that, green for the opposite. Oh, it doesn't have a different color for the four block and the straight. They're both white, but they're very different looking. So at least they have colors, different colors for um, the two... I don't know what they're called. They all have special names, but I don't know. How is this even possible? I don't know. I don't know. None very, of us <laughs> very, very clever coding. Very clever coding. Okay. Oh, you're a cuddle cat. Luckily, you don't have, like, the memory for storing what's on the screen is not part of the ten lines. It just is, right? Mm -hmm. But still, the code to check... Even the code to check if there's a Tetris is not too bad. You just go, is there a full line across? Is there a full line across? Is there a full line across? Every time you complete... Um, every time you touch down a piece. It's still unbelievable. Six different pieces, yeah. But still, they have like... All the... <laughs> Like they have top, score, level, lines, next. That takes up room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the text takes up room. Can you quick drop a piece by pressing up or something? I don't know. Can uh, you? By don't. pressing up? No, just no. down. Or the button? Um, no, that turns it, so. Okay, no. But you can hold down. It goes faster. So So this would not be... Oh, that's it's, not the right spot. Need to do that. <laughs> this wouldn't be a competition. <laughs> uh, uh, level Tetris. Level Tetris. Yeah, no. Hey, 7 of 7. Welcome. Not a Tetris. Nope, that's okay. I got one. Did you? Already? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Not the best Tetris player. Nope. But I can play it. <laughs> we watch the best players. <gasps> oh, we love the World Series of Tetris. Yeah, it'll Every be there again year. at PRG. So good hey. yeah it's unbelievably fast and good yeah every year at prg they have the world tetris championships and last year's was good they went all the way to the maximum number of games they could play and they were trying to kick everyone out and it was not working <laughs> oh it was funny and people are like there's 300 people here watching the world Tetris Championships yeah. what do you Finals. Think? Yeah. You're not kicking everyone out. That doesn't work that way. No, it does not. <laughs> and their bosses gave up. They're like, eh, just take just, the chairs just, away. Just wait. Just pack up the chairs. Yeah, just wait. Yeah. I wonder if within 10 lines you could use Joy 2B plus spec for rotate left and right and rotate right as separate buttons. You'd have to have access to both buttons on the joystick from basic there might be something easy to do that but I mean the system only shipped with single button joysticks you might you might be able to get away with like peaking a a memory location if it happens to store that second button in a memory location oh it's the paddle lines Oh, you might be able to get away with it then. Hi. Oh, no. Don't bring your claws out. That hurts. <laughs> Ow! Psst, psst, don't. No claws. He's like, where are the bells and the treats? Maybe, like, no maybe bells. somebody will do a bell yeah. at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. This is very enthralling. Aww. Watch me play, <laughs> play Tetris, Tetris badly. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, if it's the paddle lines, then you have access to it. So um, just depends how costly it is to access the paddle lines in basic. And if it's not that costly, then you could definitely do a second button. But I'm guessing that this game uses up all the space possible. It's so unbelievably impressive. 
They have drug testing at the Tentris Championship. Oh, no, not that I am aware of. I don't think of. so. I don't know if that would enhance anything, though. <laughs> Probably be a detriment. Maybe um, caffeine might help. Caffeine would help, I think. <laughs> keep yeah. you awake, keep you alert, but not too, too alert, not too awake. You want to be jittery, because these people use no. very specific techniques. They're like... Oh, they're amazing. Tap amazing. And, tapping the controller against their leg. <gasps> it's amazing. Amphetamine would probably help. Mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a little bit, but not too much. A little bit of amphetamine. <laughs> a little bit of, just a tiny bit. <gasps> Broke it. You made it to the black and white level. Oh, level nine? Oh, I can make it to level nine. <laughs> But not like level. I'm not doing like that 29. Well. Yeah, I am not a great Tetris player. I love watching them Maybe play a, though. A case of Jolt Cola. Yeah, it's just the. It's they're just so skilled. They can they can anticipate moves that you can't even see coming. They're setting up things way ahead oh of time. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely astounding. It is astounding. This far, you might as well play till you can't play anymore. Oh, you made it to level 10. It's getting faster. Yeah. Oh, that's an awkward hands. piece. I know. Yeah. Single lines. Well, you're not going for high score, you're just trying to clear them out. I'm just playing. I haven't played in quite a while, <laughs> actually. Um. To get some treats in these cats if anyone is in the mood. Yeah, if anyone wants to trigger a treat time for cats. They would be very appreciative. And, and, and disrupt your game? Yeah, I'm okay. fine with that because uh, okay. this is, yeah. They're, they're very polite. They don't want to disrupt the game. Eh? Oh, you got three lines. <laughs> I want to hear a This is, looks absolutely, I can't believe this is a 10 line game, so. <laughs> you jumped up on my lap. Thank you, RC70. Yay, it is treat time you. for cats. Yes, it is. Meow, meow, meow. It's your favorite game. Yep, the other one isn't quite uh, figured out yet, but we'll do this one. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, we will do this are we, first. Are we going to do it first? Yes. Okay. I need some coasters. I need to stop playing. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop playing. All right. It's very hard to stop because once you're going, you can't. One coaster. I'm gonna move your drink. Yes. Who did party time? It's rendered ghost. Okay, here's the party time. Cats, 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 cats. cats, cats, cats. cats. Yeah. Get you all doped up. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, some for you, some for you. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. It smells like hay to me. Yeah. It's very. Like exactly like a, a farm, yeah. like bales of hay on a farm. Ah, I can see you playing the tiny little area. Can they? I'm yeah. <laughs> still playing. Tiny Tetris. So we're giving them the catnip. Yep. And we're then gonna we're going to do bells. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. That was terrible. Well, you fit that one in. Awesome. Eat your catnip, Atari. Eat it. He's like, I know there's treats coming. Game Boy Tetris, yeah. Speaking of performance enhancing drugs, yeah. Oh, yeah. now he's eating it. There we go. We have to have it on an even playing field. Wait until both of the cats are rolling around on the floor. There you go. Oh, he's smacking them. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm Sprite is smacking them. I'm losing. Oh, my goodness. Smacking time. Oh, kittens. Okay. Vicious I'm cat. I'm done. Okay. I'm Game Boy Tetris. <laughs> Alright! Hi kitties! Hi sir cats! Are you getting nice and high? Tetris pick level plus fire. Nice! It, wow. it looks fantastic. Level 12. Absolutely fantastic. Put that way over there. Okay. Okay. So I can wrap this up. Way out of the way. Catnip combat! <laughs> Sets are under cuffs. Catnip combat. Alright. Put that over there. They, they're now confused because they don't usually get catnip and treats. We're not in a row usually. Nope, nope, don't spread out. Are you ready, cats? That's 10 lines, RC70. 10 lines. Yeah. 
Unbelievable. All right. So while they're coming off their catnip high, let's uh, get the betting started. Start the betting. Thank you, RC70. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. The bets have started. So place yours right now. It's Who will it be? It's not on the screen yet. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll put that over. There we go. And you'll have to clear the uh, old scores in there. Previous scores go to nothing. So place your bets. We've got in this corner Atari. In this corner we've got Sprite. They are doped up and ready to go. <laughs> and speaking of that, I don't know if anybody else saw the news. They are f finally... Having a dope Olympics? A doping up... <laughs> It's Olympics Plus. Yeah, what is it I saw called? that. Sports I can't remember. Games Plus? Oh, E Plus. Oh, that's e -plus. such a bad idea. That's such yeah. a bad idea. They're allowing people to take whatever they want, as much as they want, yep. and then compete in... There's like four different games. Really? There's powerlifting, yep. which is going to be bad. <laughs> I think there's Ooh. running, swimming... And possibly bicycling. Yeah, I think there's four or five sports. Yeah. You know, I just, <laughs> it's it'll be interesting, but all, all I want to say, it's all fun and games until someone has a heart attack on the middle of the stage. Oh, yeah. And Way then, Renner uh, goes. It that is, is never going to happen ever again. <laughs> no, somebody is going to, they say they, they're going to have doctors available monitoring people. <sighs> yeah, and who's going to ensure that? Like, come no on. One. That's, it oh. was a sketch on it SNL. It was a sketch. <laughs> yes. Yep. And every time oh somebody's caught taking drugs at the Olympics, they go, why don't you just start an Olympics where everybody can take as much as they want? Oh. They have done it now. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how far that waiver goes Sign in a court of law, too. Oh waivers, waivers don't Yeah. Don't count in death and, no. and injury. <laughs> They'd have to, oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's trouble. It it's is trouble. trouble. But they're not supplying the drugs no and they're supplying doctors to monitor them and they probably go your heartbeat is crazy you're off well they're gonna have levels I probably like know. are we gonna get to find out what they tested positive for <laughs> afterwards because that's what <laughs> that's i'm interested in i want to know who wins and i want to know how they what win. levels of what doping yes. they have oh, it's my like goodness. oh that one did better and that person took that <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's very what dangerous. Worked better? It's very oh. dangerous. Are we done? Okay, it is right. time to <laughs> crazy. do it's the crazy. cats. Okay, so we got two bells. We've got two cats. We've got a sprite. We've got an Atari. Are How ready? are the scores? There, It's heavily sprite one to two. Yes. But there's one to some two. points on to everyone. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay, ready? Sprite, All right. get over here. And... They're off! Double ring! Good job, kittens! Good job! Good Ox start. Coffee! Which game did you play? Do you know which one was Ox? Oh! oh that oh. was Sprite, sorry. Careful. Uh, it was near the top. Uh, I've got the summary. That Atari, was Atari, that's one more each. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Keep Dunes! Excellent! Dunes. That, was, that was a lot of fun. That Thank was you. a lot of fun. I didn't know what game you Sprite. were referring to when it was... You said they were shooting up and inst down instead of up. Atari. So we've got a tie game so tie far. Game. Oh, gentle. Gentle. Oh, oh. Atari pulls ahead. Atari, Sprite is being way too gentle. There, there he goes. 4-4, four, four, and he's lost it in the cables. He's licking it because he can't get it out. And Atari pulls ahead. 5-4, and I think he's either given up or he got it. I think he got it. I he's think he back. Did. He's, he's licking his lips. Licking his lips. And he's back in the game. It's 5-5. Five, five. He's tied it up. No, you have to get your own. Get your own. Get your own. No, get it. Get it. Who's... Get it. Come on. Somebody. There we go. Oh, Someone it's a hit the bell. strong hit Atari. from Atari. After many misses, Sprite is still gently touching it. But Atari's oh, slightly in the lead. Slightly. Harder. Oh, oh that works. That did work. You that did, did work. It. It, it. It's a very unorthodox way of doing it. <laughs> but it did work. Did count. And Sprite. Sprite brings up the rear with 7-7. Seven, seven. It is Atari, Atari takes his lead, 8-7. Wow. It is a close, close game. Sprite is gingerly touching it, and that's why he's falling behind today. 
but he is getting it in the end, and you're tossing it way far away. No, no, he's. It no. is. It is game point for Atari. Can he chew it quick enough and get back to the bell before Sprite gets two more? Oh, that's one, and one more for Atari, Atari for the win. Did it. Yay! And it's over. It's over. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner greenies. Chicken, chicken dinner. Are they chicken? They yeah, are. Aren't they? they are chicken dinner greenies. Winner, winner, chicken dinner greenies. There you Good go. Kitties. Some extra ones. Good job. Your plan did succeed, it right did. here, Ghost. Yep. Atari by one whisker. <laughs> one whisker. Wow. Wow. Good job. He, uh, definitely Sprite. It is not performance enhancing for Sprite. No, it <laughs> works the opposite way. Yes. And uh, Erlen yet again missed an Atari win. Oh my goodness. He's never seen one. He's never seen one. Well, you got to get the catnip in next time and see if that helps. And a close catnip, not a far catnip. Uh, yep. Right before. So let's so see. So who got the big points? Ooh, not a huge... Re Render <gasps> Ghost clears. Render Ghost! Gets everyone. <gasps> Rendered Ghost, that All works. All the points. That works. Totally you worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten times return. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Good job. That is amazing. A return ratio of 9.43 to 1. Wow. Woo. -y. Perfect. Z Z Z time. Well, on the, the uh, East yeah, Coast. it is late. Have a good night, Bachman. Well, we just finished all the games. <laughs> so perfect timing. So let's take a look at what's coming up on Zero Page Homebrew. RG did take home the purse today. He did, yeah. all of it. Yeah, the whole purse. Bet well. Um, so some exciting things coming up, mm -hmm. actually. So today we did the 10 liner contest. Uh, After Dark is going to come very soon. We're going to play Scuturnia for mm -hmm. High Score, Lynx High Score Club Round 2. Don't know what's on next show, but the show after that. Tabletop gaming special. Tabletop. Those. Oh, those ones. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Okay. Yes, I'm excited as well. We have a lot of tabletop games. That sounds like fun. We're going to be playing classic ones mm. plus some new ones nice, nice. that I have a set of from Basic Fun. Okay. They're really good. Okay, okay. Um, and they're like that. They're okay. not like mini Nintendo games. Yeah. These are the same type where it's elements moving around the screen. Okay. And um, yeah, they're really, really good. So we'll be taking a look at the old school and the new school one. I do have we Zaxxon. We do have Zaxxon. Double screened Zaxxon. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's something. Yeah. Um, we're going to be changing a lot of batteries that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Get those D cells. Game. Get those D cells. Or C sure cells. I'm not sure. Uh, one or the other. I think they're mostly C. There might be some D in there. Yeah, we're going to have to invest in some, some uh, maybe I'll honking check, batteries. Check my battery reserve, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's smart. Big honkers. Yep. Um, but then, the show after that, not this Friday, but next Friday, March 29th, we have the exclusive world premiere of my first Ooh. game. Ooh, secret homebrew. What could it be? Yep, v VFD. Yep, vacuum fluorescent displays. Nice. Uh, yeah, what could it be? Secret Homebrew from ZPH. Mm -hmm. And the exclusive world premiere of a new game as well for the 2600 Course Blade. Awesome. Double exclusive world premieres right on March 29th. Right before Easter. That's right. We'll have to eat some It'll chocolate. be a great Friday, not just a good Friday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we'll have to uh, have some chocolate uh, on the Yes, show. we will have to have some Easter eggs. My big fat Canadian homebrew. Yay. Yeah. Um, so some good stuff coming up on the show. I uh, can't wait to show everyone my game. It's not that impressive. It's a very yes, simple it game. Yeah, it is. It's fun. It looks very good. simple. It looks good. I've seen it. So it don't get good. your hopes up. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, all, we're all very excited though. Yeah. So it's expectations, first, very low. It's your first 2600 game. 2600 game. I think that's a huge accomplishment so i it's it's very yeah, exciting i'm, I'm excited is. to see it yeah yep yep uh it's yep, not yep. your show day unfortunately i will okay. show up anyway oh no you're off that day i am so it is because your show day. it is great friday it is a great friday <laughs> yes. can you should interview james there i will go. interview interview me about yes. the process of yep. making the game and blah 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 yeah yep. i told i've already told him he has to be in the other room no darcy no, no. and i have to be in here we have to play <laughs> i don't know if darcy I, will make I, it but doubt, doubtful um, uh, I'll have to play the game. I'll have to uh, give my feedback <laughs> no, to don't him give feedback. screaming and trying to trying to 
to chat on uh, <laughs> on the chat going, no, go up, hit go that up. button. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Get the thing. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't this couch compliant? It is couch compliant. <laughs> you think I'd make a game that isn't couch compliant? You're wrong. Yeah, it's nice. fully It'll couch compliant. Mostly because I haven't even looked into how to use the switches. Yes. <laughs> and the obligatory bug font. Yes. Uh, yep. 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 Tanya will somehow I'll break, break the it. game. That's what I'm here for. I don't think it's possible, but yeah. I will break it. I'll find a way. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it I'm won't be excited. the finished game. Okay. It'll be a playable version of the game. Which is fine. Yeah. If it it's playable, that's good. It should be a, f a fun enough playable version of the game. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us, yes. everyone. Let me. Great uh, Tuesday. Yes. Lots of fun games. Uh, let me just find a uh, Twitch stream to maybe hand people off to. I think Atari Beer Pong was playing or something. Um, oh, he is playing today. We'll hand you off to him. Yep. Um, I won't do it yet. But we will hand you off to him. Because he is playing some... He's playing a Dungeon Master Atari ST. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Does mm -hmm. the black and, which, black and white switch do anything? Yeah. Not my game. Not yet. About to head over there yet. anyway. Perfect. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun playing the 10-line games. Um, yes. Which... Did you enjoy playing? They were all quite here's, good. Here's the uh, list. I really liked... Um, Chase I, Me. Masterpiece, in my opinion. Chase Me. Which one was that? That was the... Uh, Vitoko. Vitoko's Maze Game. Pac-Man-y yep. kind of game. That was excellent. Um, let me see. I mean, honestly... I mean, Tetris was astounding looking. I mean, it's not my go-to game. But um, oh, it played so well. Dunes, I really enjoyed. Yep, that was. It was very the well right done. level of puzzle, but also challenging Action. enough. That yep. was excellent. Um, Fly Hunter. They were all. That was really good. They were all Gunner really good. Gunner was very impressive as well. Yeah, and and we did run into some issues. It's very hard to tell if it's it was my fault, the game sure. or ours, which I think it was our, the the, the subcart possibly. 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 Yeah. Gunner was excellent too. Yeah, Gunner was visually very impressive. I, I think everything was really good and played. They were all fun. They all and played well. Each of well. them had a lot their own strengths. Like yeah. Magic Carpet Ride, um, and Endless Road Runner, and Acme also all had really great graphics. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. Very simple gameplay, but very good. Very graphic. good graphics. And yeah. when you only have ten lines, you're like, what am I going to do? Dedicate it to? Yeah. Is it going to be to graphics? Is there going to be some sound? Yes. Is it going to be gameplay? Yeah. And you do have to trade off. Yeah. So ugh. they were. They all had something going for them. I thought they were all yep. like excellent games. Yeah. All yeah. Really, really, uh, really, 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 really clever. And I think a lot of them could be extended past the ten lines and made into bigger games. Yeah. And as Polygox said, I think Chase, Chaseman, and the Tetris are the most impressive ones. I think yes. for scale, those two were fully fleshed out games. Yes. Those you can um, play for a very long time. And they had levels, yeah. you know, like, like it's, that's impressive. Think, if you had to have a 10 liner with levels incorporated yeah. into it to me is so really Chase Me and Tetris, really I think are my top for technical abilities. Like f for impressive well, of graphics, scale, sound and scale, scale of the whole game. I mean, yeah. I'm sure those were the, the big, the whatever extreme two five six extreme two five six right like they were they were on that I'm level where they sure they, they held a lot yeah. but I actually think all the games were totally playable and really yes. really good so yeah. yeah it was a good it was a good show it was a good show endless roadrunner has a five line of play field setup and five lines for the game logic. wow wow five lines of just the play field setup the play field was pretty cool um, best and was I, and Tetris the... best original is Chase Me yeah uh, it was not original. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> um, it's been done many times before. Uh, it was originally on the NES. And yes. then somebody made a 7800 version of it. Yeah. And this is the Atari 8-bit. And I'm mm. sure there was another version on other systems. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us on this Tuesday. Chitla La, Vitoko. Thank you for your games. Yes. Dan AVC. Hey, cat. Oh Polygox. Polygox. Uh, Pseudographics. Gamma Dev. Uh, Ox, Coffee Ox Coffee as well. Thank, Thank you, you for, for Dune, which was excellent. Yes. Excellent game. Uh, Double Down. Rendered Ghost. 
Chitlitla, 8 bit poet. Thank you for making the original um, Fly Hunter. Nice. Yep. So, a uh, uh, port of it could be made. Seven of Seven, hello. Chelstony Mao. Meow. Yeah, we've got some yowling going on the background, <laughs> background there. Cats are crazy. Carl G. Oh, uh, lots of peeps else? here today. Nostalgic. Uh, and that's I think the we top. Floated back to the top there. Say my name one more time and I'll come. Oh, did we do it twice? <laughs> oh. We don't want to say it a third time. Um, so uh, we're going to send you over to Atari Beer Pong so you can continue with your Atari adventures because mm. he's playing some other stuff over there. So we'll be back on Friday with some more gaming. I don't know what it is yet. Do I? No, I don't know what it is yet. So it'll still be fun. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will see you then. So thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Yes. With uh, Erlen. Hopefully he's recovered. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.